right. This is, a talk, this is our uh, weekly thing where we talk about weird environments we work in. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> Welcome to Avaraxis Precipice. Uh, this is the Expanse role playing game actual play. Uh, the Expanse role playing game put out by Green Road and Publishing. Uh, we do every week on Wednesdays at 6 p.m., so congratulations. Right spot. Um, he, uh, we're down, uh, our, our good friend Donna and I, Donna has been uh, spreading the word of Catan around the world and uh, yeah, good old uh, con, the, 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 the con gods have uh, decided to take their, their small toll on her. So she's, <laughs> or she lost her voice. Uh, she's okay, but she's lost her voice and so she can't uh, uh, be here tonight. But uh, we got everyone else here. We're having a really fun episode tonight, which I'm looking forward to doing. Uh, in addition, uh, we have a, but we do have a giveaway. Actually, came from Donna. Uh, I want to mention uh, tonight's <laughs> yeah, no, no small thing there. Uh, we are giving away a uh, VIP pass to OrcaCon 2023. Um, these OrcaCon passes are pretty neat, actually. Um, the uh, the VIP pass gets you like in. It gets you into these extra rooms. Uh, I can't remember what it does, but it gets you a bunch of cool stuff. You get extra like you get like a OrcaCon set of dice. You get a T-shirt, swag bag, uh, a bunch of stuff from the different vendors that were donated, um, a VIP ribbon badge, and you get access to their VIP lounge with snacks, coffee, tea, and other non-alcoholic beverages. Um, <laughs> but the very cool uh, thing that Donna has donated to us are way to enter tonight is very simple simply in the chat if you were to type the word orcacon we're entered and now here's where um here's where um michael it's believes that we are going to orcacon in the game <laughs> let's um, go game. that right. would be awesome <laughs> that would be, oh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a of, nautical uh, adventure <laughs> yeah very, it's, 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 underwater in the sea space. <laughs> it's gonna be killer. Oh, oh no! <laughs> All right, guys, that's that. I'm gonna I'm booting Michael. Good night. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a rough one, man. Uh, uh, but yeah, please type in OrcaCon and I into the chat, and you'll be win. Uh, and then uh, we have our. Uh, I'm always trying to get subs on here. Um, I'm very ambitious. Uh, not as ambitious as I almost accidentally was earlier. But uh, should we hit our uh, goal uh, of 100 subs, which I'm never going to hit. I know I'm not going to hit it, but uh, I'm trying. Uh, we'll give out this copy of the Expanse board game that I've had now for over a year. And I actually played this I actually played this uh, yesterday. I played this yesterday and I played this weekend, actually. I played with uh, my buddies Dan and Jeremy. I was the Did OPA. you win? No, I was the OPA and uh, Jeremy was, I believe, Mars and Mars won. Oh, you uh, let us down! I did. I did it in second, though. Uh, nice. and then I played yesterday where, uh, with a two-player game, only player Earth Mars, and I um, uh, I won as Mars. Uh, he, uh, my friend uh, Alejandro, clearly hasn't watched enough of the show to understand that Mars does not lose in space. Um, <laughs> so, oh, he kept trying to beat me in space. I'm like, yes, yeah, not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, bro. Like, it ain't gonna happen, man. Do you not see how my my, to my ship tokens are much larger than yours? There's a reason for that. <laughs> um. So, uh, but we had a lot of fun with it. So that's uh, that's on the that's on the line too for Wednesday night's OrcaCon thing. So hey, you could get the copy of the game, uh, take it to OrcaCon, and then play the expansive role playing game at OrcaCon. Even Donna probably jump in too. I uh, yeah. can't stop without giving out a Patreon shout out. Our Patreon is where we preview everything. Uh, we just kind of put a big preview up on there, which we are not announcing for yeah. quite a while now, actually. Uh, but that was a big preview. Uh, you can kind of uh, get some ideas of what's going on. It's a great way to support the show. Uh, we appreciate all our patrons uh, that help out, help make this all happen in ways. And we have our podcast. Uh, you can get that through all our uh, links and such. Um, that's, that's a great way to catch up, listen up. I need to make a quick summary on there, though. So that's one thing I've been mm -hmm. lagging on. But, I, so, but I, I'm not too busy to not have you guys on it <laughs> play tonight. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, let's go to the opening. Then we'll get right into Abaraxas Precipice. Uh, I'll be right back.
welcome back. Thank you. All right. Last we left off, um, Waxer and Wyatt, uh, the, the, two, the two W's of the crew, um, had a W, actually, in fact, uh, on Ganymede. Uh, you had led a little mission, your first actual, like, kind of like actual in the field mission uh, for the OPA Navy, um, trying to recover the ice processing plant on Ganymede without significant incident, we'll say. Um, and you did so. Uh, while while you guys are off doing that, the Sinclair was off running basic logistical missions, moving supplies, people, and such. And some of those people actually ended up on series. Um, and currently, uh, the you guys have been had almost, I mean, like a month of time to kind of regather uh, all the bleeds, investigate things, and such. Um, and now it's all kind of coming to a head. But one of the the issues with your ship right now is that you're actually down one of your crew members. Um, Jay actually left the the crew, not not really up for the OPA Navy stuff, and actually is trying to go back to Ganymede. Actually, got back to Ganymede, uh, pitched a ride with you guys all, um, and is uh, back there trying to like help Prax rebuild uh, and reactivate Ganymede Station. Um, but you you have actually brought some people, uh, the, the, the Sinclair and other ships, and other people have kind of come and converged on on Sirius Station to uh, crew up. And you actually have a pretty decent uh, dossier of different uh, people that are that are in the OPA Navy that you can actually recruit onto the, the Sinclair. Currently, the Sinclair is crewed by a total of six of you. Uh, or sorry, seven. Sorry, seven. Uh, you have Captain Myrtle. You have your Exo Wyatt. You have your kind of uh, people person uh, Zenny. You have your your head uh, doc uh, crew crewman. Uh, Waxer, you got McMichaels, who does a little bit of engineering, but he's not the best at it. Uh, you got um, Brax, who's helping out engineering, but still kind of like uh, intimidated by running the whole ship. And you have Yuri, who is primarily your cook and kind of like uh, manages your uh, life, a little bit of your life support systems in that regard. Um, a ship like the Sinclair normally crews eight, but it can crew up, it can crew more than that if you want to have better shift rotations and such too. Um, so you've been given kind of a dossier and a budget to, to basically bring in several more uh, individuals. Um, and the captain has been generous enough to leave this up to you as they uh, go to spend some of their shore leave with their significant other um, and attempt to pair that that is. So i um, been hanging on the series station for a few days, kind of getting your bearings back. Uh, the ship's currently, it's currently being uh, gone over by the OPA Navy technicians and such. Um, being, it's all fitted up, but there's like a few little things they just want to check and they want to do a complete um, inventory and everything. But, um, and you can guys I got... also, as an aside, because I know mm -hmm. that our ship has been f fucked with already once, um, if we're on series, that means that there's people on the dock that I know, right? Mm -hmm. I would like to personally talk to these people who I know and trust and mm -hmm. be like, hey, keep eyes on this, please, so that our ship doesn't get, by whomever, doesn't get, like, fucked over. <laughs> and it's kind of interesting, it's kind of interesting when you when you do that. Uh, you talk to the dock master, or one of the dock masters, or several, but uh, there's kind of a rotation of them. But, yeah, um, whoever I trust, like. Okay, yeah, there's one you trust, and uh, on, we'll call him Andre, and Andre, you know, he's like, yeah, he's like, I'll, I don't have a problem. Uh, all these OPA guys are, are they're tight in there and stuff like that too. And, and there's actually secure OPA security around the different ships too. So like there's like armed guards um, at the docks where the where the OPA ships are like on there. And there's even a patrol, a, a small patrol boat uh, in the vicinity that is like uh, ready to defend those ships if, if they're attacked or assaulted. Um, it, it's actually a, it's actually a, a pretty secure uh situation Tycho didn't do all that because they're not a military operation where series is slow it kind of elements of series are <laughs> turning to a military operation yeah an ad hoc one but nevertheless a military operation um but yeah they'll, they'll keep an eye on it Nepal like too excellent next question <laughs> um so um, and, and you guys also have some leads. Uh, people want to talk to you. Some of the information they only want to share in person. They're not interested in actually, like, you know, trying to broadcast it out or talk about it in public. Um, so you can set that up, whether this would be your follow-ups looking for Pope, looking into Waxer's past. Um, uh, Jack Rabbit is, is off doing stuff with uh, Fred Johnson. Right now, they're currently retrofitting the 
newly christened behemoth um, is getting uh, retrofitted with like a just, they're strapping guns to it till it can't strap no more. Uh, <laughs> no, um, so that that's going on and such. And as everybody knows, uh, you know, you, you turn on the news, you can't help but see Squid Watch, um, which is basically just like a camera follow. It's a series of, of ships kind of following the squid as it travels through the system uh, in a very straight, very straight line, as people have discovered. It's not doing an elliptical thing, so it's not trying to orbit it as something like that or trying to gain an orbit. It seems like it's just going in a straight line. Um, and even on that trajectory, it's like they're trying to even fathom, like, if it is leaving this galaxy or the solar system, where is it going next? And then where will they go from there? It's not it, that, that lack of a curve is really throwing people off. Um, the eggheads are like stuff in space doesn't travel in a straight line like that, you know, mm -hmm. um, like it's traveling, like almost due like east of the sun, like the like the, the sun's east. So it is traveling through the elliptical, but it's going straight. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's kind of the circumstances and so doing the OP Navy seems to have a, I mean, a fleet now, like the actual operational. It's not the top, but they'll do the trick. <laughs> well, so of, of you three, who, you, who, who should we really have do these interviews? I'm not like the most personal one. Yo, the ex, so yeah, but uh, what, what position are we hiring for? Yeah. Well, we're working we, down we, we definitely need a new chef. Yeah, right. He's leaving. He don't oh, want to. Your chef's there. You lost your oh. medic, actually. Oh, well, we definitely need a medic. Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I know how to do some stitching, but uh, yeah, it's like pit fighter stitching. I think that should be so. top priority, though, is some kind of uh, medical crew. Cause, you know, I get yeah, shot. if you get shot again, we want to make sure they can pass you up, right? Oh, and you got stabbed. Uh, not long yeah. ago. Like, I mean, yeah, it was, yeah. It was sort of, yeah, and you guys can, I mean, you guys saw the wound. Like, you saw the photos of it. Uh, he got cut the side pretty bad. Yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, we 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 show them. Hey, what would you do if uh, I come with you with this? And then like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe <them. laughs> maybe not maybe not like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think for sure we need a uh, we need to focus on a medic. Um, um, and it, maybe someone maybe someone more specialized in like a, a head engineer. Uh, Cause uh, you know McMichaels is uh, McMichaels and Drax. They're okay, but. You know, mm. have on someone who really knows how things work and be able to to use the two of them. That would, I think, be we could avoid another engine meltdown situation. Maybe ah, doctor and an engineer, yeah, hmm. and definitely somebody who know grow grow back limbs. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, could, that could be uh, useful. Yeah, it could be. I hope we never have to use it though. Yeah. I, I like my legs. I like my arm, the way it looks. But yeah, but McBigles, you know, he he moves faster now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, any, it's any, any anything else? Yeah. McMichael's is in, in chime in. He he's kind of had his demands. He he says the med tech is important. Mm -hmm. The better engineer is a big one for him. He's kind of saying like he's like yo he's like that last mission on Ganymede man he's like. That threw me off a little bit. I, I'm not really like a much of a fighter. If you guys can get like a, you know, he's like, I get the XO and, and Waxer could do it, but maybe a better someone on a team that could actually you know, fire like a, like, like, like a, a more of like a soldier type. Like, soldier. Like, shoot, soldier. like shoot with, with what? Like with guns? And he's like, he's like, he kind of looks at Zen, he's like, and he like no, stares pointedly no, at not, McMichaels. Not, <laughs> I'm talking, he's like, more like, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, but like more tactics, like kind of like uh, uh, you can, you know, uh, interface with that and more of a point person, like a point man type person. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is that making sense when he's saying that? Like, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah, he, he wants someone that's good at drawing fire and, and knowing how to like keep like actually right. like navigate a, a firefight. Like, you don't mind Rare. being in a firefight. You can survive yourself, but trying to get a whole team out is a whole different story. We that need a, a tactician. Tactician, yeah. He's always, yeah. He knows the XO is good at that, but he wants. Uh, but the uh, XO also has to be the XO, so like he can't go in every <laughs> single time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe the XO's got uh, you could know all the other people who left uh, the Navy, the Martian Navy, yeah, or any other. We could definitely. I mean, I don't know really on the station here, but we can definitely look around and put the word out to see what you know. Have like a job fair. 
Oh, hey, yeah. Well, they, they, they have like a list of, of basically people that have been like vetted by the OPA Navy that are loyal to the cause and interested and are interested in serving on a ship. And so they're kind mm -hmm. of, they're, there's like a, there's like a So whole, half like, of our job is done for us, yeah, essentially. So there's, there's, there's a list, but it's more of a matter of which ones do you want to interview? And right. so I actually have a, I have a list ready. If you want to go over the list, I'd be happy to Oh, dear. Do you want to just yeah. set, you can, is it convenient to send it to us in Discord? I can send it to you through our uh, fancy little chat. Oh, that works too. Because um, yeah, then you don't have to like literally read off like one out to the uh, other, out to the I'll, other. I'll tell you about some of them. I can tell you a little about some more detail. I didn't detail them all out. But yeah. I want to leave a little bit of surprise there. Uh, but, bachelor uh, number one. Uh, it, should be, it, should, it should be at the on that spreadsheet. It should be the bottom on the right side. It's a uh, Sinclair crew. There it is. Yeah. And they're the ones. They're the ones down the bottom. The first. The name. The first name is Sonia Duran. Where did you? Send yeah. Where did you send it? In the uh, Zoom. Oh, I, forgot, I put it. I'm sorry. I only sent it to. I only sent it to the XO. Oh <laughs> well. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Let's fair. be real. Of all so, people. Wait, we're going through the chain of command here. Yeah, yeah, I'll send yeah. it. I'll, now I'll send it to them. Or to everyone. <laughs> I approve this list. Yeah. Okay. How, how about it? Okay, so seven and seven and down. You said. Yeah, seven and down. Yeah. Excellent. We definitely need to really look into this medic uh, or a uh, medic. A medic. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the idea of yeah. this uh, Edris person. Uh, okay, so you, so you pull Edris uh, Kumhar's yeah. uh, kind of list and it looks like they're they've actually served in like some small uh mm. like forward security units uh they have uh marksmanship capacities and also field medic stuff they're not a doctor like they're not someone that's gonna get like uh through surgery or something like that but they'll get mm -hmm. you they'll keep you alive for a while um and they're they're a belcher that's from here on series station Oh, we could talk to them easy, yeah. I wanna, I wanna uh, put, have them up, but then compare them to the the other uh, one who's marked as a, as a medic, Marid. I wanna compare the two of them and see like where they overlap and where they're like different as far as like skill sets. Okay. I like oh, that. Uh, J J yeah, med tech biology, but um, hmm. yeah, not been much uh, experience fighting, yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, not everyone on the ship has to has to fight, yeah. you know. Drax is not a fighter, but well, I mean, he's good at what he does. Fighting part, the medic yeah. Yeah. back on ship at all times. Yeah. yeah, and the medic, you don't necessarily want like what what you or I could do as far as you know, quick quick things. That's what we need right in the moment. But when we get back to the ship, we don't want our medic to be the one who needs to have the medic oh, things yeah. done. You know. Agreed. Yeah, no medic yeah, wants me okay. operating on them. Yeah. Before we go and start doing all this, looking at these people and talking to them, I think it's on a step over the captain's toes here, and I'd like to officially put you guys as senior crew. So after oh, hey. the cap, then everybody comes to you guys. There's, I mean, everybody else will be right. below you guys. Well then, uh, oh, that been means a lot. That. Yeah, you all treat me real well on this crew. It means a lot, yeah. I will uh, honor this, yeah. Won't let you down. All right, so I'm going to make you interview all the people now, and I'm just going <laughs> to take a nap for a few hours. <laughs> I know it was too good to be true. <laughs> now, I, I think it would be a good idea to talk to this, the medic, the one uh, that's on I game. think... I I think why I think you should talk to this uh this Omusa person, you know you you're the one out of all of us with the with the most tactics. Well, I mean I have a little bit, but it's more solo tactics. I've definitely spent some time at Palace Station, so that wouldn't be a. Mm -hmm. I think that could work. And I, uh, yeah, I, I'll wrestle all of them. Yeah, see uh, what the inner strength is like. <laughs> hey, there you go. See what hey, I, hey. yeah. Um, Test them. I wouldn't mind finding um. Uh, an extra pilot too, just so that's uh, exactly what I was thinking. Handle all of that. Yeah. yeah, if we have like this this Mikhail person, if we if we talk to them, see because I I trust the captain with our with our driving, but again, it's kind of like the it's kind of like the med tech. You don't want the captain being at the helm at all times. Mm -hmm. If if it's going down, you want the captain to be ready to go wherever, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I guess that just leaves the engineering, and I'm, I'm honestly, there's a, 
There's like a little bit of a pause <laughs> as uh, Zenny looks at the list and sees that this Justine person doesn't have a home. And that's just like, just like, imagine like seven question marks popping up over so, Zenny's head reading what that. Is, what is, you kind of look at, you look at Justine's dossier real quick and it looks like uh, Justine grew up on a rock hopper. Basically like station uh, to station, yeah, gotcha. like nomad yeah. type situation. Oh, yeah, um, like yeah. me, yeah. I mean, they, they've been to stations. They were they were born yeah. someplace, but they never stayed in one place very long. But they used to be on a ship, though. They're dead. Yeah. They're yeah. Well, it's yeah, yeah. I grew up on one. Yeah, you and you you end up knowing it real good, inside out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <sighs> we all invite them to the so ship. I got, yeah. I have five that you want to interview. Is that correct? I think it's a good starting point. Like yeah. Just, yeah. You know, so I'm love. hearing Mikhail, Marid, Idris, and uh, Omusa, and Justine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Uh, you go ahead and you kind of dial them in. You kind of put it up and you have your contact information and such. Um, and... Uh, you kind of set up to have like a place to talk to them. Uh, do you want to talk to them at the docks, the ship? Do you want to set up a play, like a, like go to like use Myrtle's um, business for it? Do you want to meet them at a bar? Like what kind of place? What kind of environment do you want to give? Uh, well, if they're working on the ship, yeah, then it would be a little weird to do it on the ship if they're working on like if if the they're making adjustments or repairs or Although, whatever to it. Um, on the same side, it wouldn't be bad to have Mikhail. You know the pilot possibly looking at the ship seeing what they yeah can well yeah. see that's when you do a two-part interview the first part is the talking part and the second part is like a walk around practical part yeah <laughs> where no, they like, get a taste. how would you fix this are they fixing this yeah part? what adjustments yeah it's a good idea i've done a few interviews y'all <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we uh go to a cap store use that it's got a nice office it looks uh professional you know better than a bar get interrupted oh i don't want to lie to people they're not gonna get yeah. anything fancy when they get on the ship they're not gonna get anything fancy when they get an interview to be on the ship <laughs> yeah but i mean it's a good idea if we ever want to impress anyone we use the shop yeah use the shop. i mean I mean, if we can still use the shop after. Oh yeah, come on! I couldn't possibly make the uh, captain's situation any worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we stick to somewhere, somewhere nice. Maybe mm. like a nice, a less rowdy, you know, place where people can get drinks if they want to. Make it a little casual, maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, now belt is yeah. So they, I mean, well, yeah. Everyone we're talking to is belt is at least so. You know? Yeah, this is good. All right, so which one do you want to call on first? I'd say we well, go with the medic. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, because yeah. Because we really need that above all. That like, is priority number yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Because we technically have all the other bases covered. Mm hmm. But yeah. Um, all right, so which which one of the medics do you want to call in first? Do you want to call in Marid or Idris? Well, uh, Idris would probably be quicker to get to living on I mean, they're, they're all here. They're, they're all, all here. here. They're, they're just all, originate. They're all they're they're <coughs> I, I say we go they with just originate, yeah. Marid first. Okay. I agree. That would right. be good. So, um, and where are you guys meeting them at? Was it the office or was it going to be at the bar? No, I think we're going to, I think we're going to do like a, a casual, like kind of bar place. Okay. Some place I mean, that's not to, loud or noisy. Do you want to use the loudspeaker? Like, I mean, you guys, you guys have out there. People like you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah we'd be like, Hey, we need a quiet corner yeah, for no, like yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you guys are, you guys are best customers. The afternoon. <laughs> so yeah. So you come in between the ship, uh, kind of a point like towards the, like when one of the ships are going to like start up soon. So like, it's kind of died out here. Um, and you're hanging on the loudspeaker. There's sports on it, but they got it muted and everything like that, or you can tune your earbuds into it. And um, you're chilling out there, and uh, you guys have a table. You know, do you guys have drinks out? How do you want? How do you want to approach it? Do you want to welcome you? Do you have a couple glass of water, like a pitcher type situation, or how do you want to do that? Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, we're the navy, yeah, but we're not the some military. Uh, you. I mean, we're with the navy, right? Are we navy? 
we could fight that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think um, definitely some- just some like water, but like some very low alcohol content, alcoholic beverage possibly. All right. Um, I was gonna say, if we get them drinking a little bit, maybe they start telling the truth, yeah? About well, I don't, listen, I don't want them to get drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Good, oh. good idea. Good. <laughs> but if we had a drunk, drinking, yeah. a drunk uh, medic who could, like, operate and be drunk at the same time, I mean, that's pretty handy, yeah? But no, you're no. right. You're right. Oh, yeah, no! No! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you guys kind of bust out whatever drinks you want to set up here, and this uh, guy comes in. Uh, he's wearing the the kind of black uh, flight suit that you see with the OP Navy. It's not standardized by interest of It's just clear that people are kind of spotting that though. And you can see that the the patch on his shoulder for the split circle logo, uh, not very prominently displayed, but it's there. And um, kind of uh, a little bit shorter for a belter, so maybe like five ten, five eleven. Um, they're kind of like a like a like a good skin tone to them. Uh, they probably. Um, uh, you guys, they might tan. They might like use the tanning bed type things, or like have done some sort of alteration to their skin, just somewhat to kind of pop the color out a little bit more. Um, and uh, you can kind of see they got some, they got the like, kind of facial hair and such, but they got the beard, like the goatee with like the, the shaved head, and um, they come up with a little bit of jewelry on them, not too much, but a little bit. Um, you can see some greens there. They come up and they they see they see you all and say, "Hey, I'm uh, Marid. Uh, here for the." Uh, for the interview for the Sinclair? Yeah, have a seat. I'm uh, Quiet. I'll be the XO on the ship. And then we oh, got Waxer and Zinni here. All right, good. And he kind of he kind of gives you kind of like the a salute. Like the, the, the builders are kind of get used to the salute. It's kind of weird for them to do it. Yeah, you don't. Um, have to do it yeah. And, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no problem, Bill. He, he takes a seat. Goes, um... So, yeah, he's like, I've been uh, like uh, a lot of interviews out here. Like, people want to. Screwing up, everyone, huh? There's a lot going on right now. Yeah. There is. There is. Um, yeah, I was, you know, I saw it firsthand on Ganymede. I, I understand a lot of the crew here was uh, were, were on Ganymede when the mirrors fell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've yeah, seen were, it. Were, yep. were, you there, were, were you there too? What were you doing there? Um, I was mostly just working in the, um, in the labs there. Not, not like, not like the, bot, not like the, uh, horticulture and botany lab, more of like a like a medical lab to check up on, you know, check do tests on stuff, check if you are okay. Um, disease what's, testing. What's that? Would I know like his? Would I have ever like I mean, to I mean, he, he, with... he probably worked in some back room in a lab. But he wasn't like some yeah. guy who was coming out. He was a lab technician. Right. He's saying he's like, but I got you know, I, I have training on like you know medical on uh, med tech. Um, you know, he, he showed you some certifications. He seems like he's pretty good at it. like he could patch someone up. Um. He's not oh, waxer, sir, I, I, I stand up and All I right. say, hey, look at me. Uh, quick question for you, uh, Doc. What do you think happened to me? Yeah. I like you are, uh, your quick evaluation. And I just sort of, fle- you know, show my uh, arms. Flexing. Yeah, and show okay. my legs. And he's like, uh, I mean, he's like, you clearly must work out a lot. Um, <laughs> a lot of resistance training, I'm guessing. Well, because I, I kinda... su- supplements. Okay, yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Um, and I, I sit down a little bit. So uh, I, yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm more, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not so much a uh, personal trainer or dietitian, <laughs> uh, nutritionist or anything like that. I, I'm more. What sort of what what sort of things do you do then? Well, I mean, you know, you got someone bleeding. I can patch them up. I can do CPR. I know how to uh, uh, adjust dosages on different um, injectors. Get that stuff ready to go quickly. Um, I can I can run a um, Auto doc pretty like pretty well and interpret the results for you, um, uh, but I'm not like uh, I don't have I don't have a lot of background in like say like uh, if you're looking for someone that can make medicines on the location. That's not the kind of person I can I, I think I can do. But I can I can make sure whatever supplies you have uh, aren't wasted. So if one of our crew was out on a, on a mission and they got shot, you'd feel comfortable patching them up. Oh, yeah, bullet extraction. Uh, if, you know, if it's if it's lodged and it really easy to get out, uh, make sure to patch it up, clean the wound, address it. Um, try to bring it back to the, the auto dock or whatever we have available. I, I, I would get them on the mend, um, stitched up and everything too, whether in the field or on the ship, where we need it. You'd be willing to go on missions if need be, or would you prefer to be? Uh, I mean, 
I'm not I'm not gonna tell you I'm like you know fighter necessarily but I can you know, I can handle myself I know how to you know I, I've shot a pistol a few times but I'm not like yeah the, uh, yeah that killed anybody yeah you kind of you kind of um no you, you don't get a lot of opportunities to kill people when you're just running blood tests yeah yeah but yeah just just wondering if you if you had to if you could doc but, but uh, like you know you're talking you're talking wounds radiation sickness uh, okay toxic toxic exposure i can get you i can make sure you're gonna last a few weeks you know the week or so it's gonna take us to get back to a station where we're gonna get full-on medical care yeah, what, what's uh can you give me a, tell me a story maybe uh of a really good uh person you save or maybe on the field or what you did yeah uh i mean i kind of he kind of like you're kind of telling me like so like Zane, show my me, I, should, I should i my my stab wound Zane, kind give of me, give me, give me i don't i feel like i don't have to but i will <laughs> oh my goodness Oh, it's really good. Um, geez, it's really good. 18 double fives. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's like, he kind of gets a little emotional a sec, because he, he told you he was on Ganymede, and he's going to start talking about Ganymede shit he saw. And he starts talking about, like, um... Like, like reach over, put my hand on his shoulder. Yeah, he starts talking about, he's like, I, you know, extracted broken glass from a variety of my colleagues, like, you know, arms... Uh, okay, was, okay. I'm gonna just hold my hand up, yeah. and then also move my hand to Waxer to like pull down his shirts <laughs> and say, I, his muscles you, don't, out. <laughs> <laughs> "You don't have to tell us everything." All right, like, like, yeah, I, but... I, I trust you that you know what you're talking about. Like, we don't, you don't have to relive things. I look to I look to Waxer. We don't oh. have to make them relive things. Yeah, yeah, and like it reminds Waxer like of his he's putting himself <laughs> where he wasn't he necessarily wouldn't want to relive the things he yeah. went through. Yeah. yeah, yeah so he's yeah. like, oh yeah, 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 okay, yeah, and I sort of like, but, you know, you know yeah, Marie kind of runs head over his hand. He says, he's like, I, I got. I'll, I'll say this. I got a lot of people that wouldn't have made it. Uh, a lot of people made it that wouldn't have made it. If I hadn't helped. Right. Well, that's good. Yeah, you start good. tomorrow, yeah? <laughs> well, we'll let you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of people that we're talking to, but... Yeah, he's all, uh, ain't a problem. He's like, I, I'm just looking to ship with some people that are trustworthy and uh, want to help uh, prevent another Ganymede. Uh, yeah. yeah, I got... He's like, I got, I got... I don't have a lot of love for the uh, innards much anymore. He's like, he looks at the exercise, like, oh, no offense. Uh, um, but, you know, it's, they're... they're Occupancy isn't kicking in. I'm not happy that like we're sharing Gammy with them all. You have, uh, you know, you have any problem if, uh, yeah, we got an inner captain, maybe? Yeah. I heard Is about that. that. New York? I heard about, yeah. I heard about Captain Cooper. Uh, my, my understanding is that, uh, Captain Cooper got a lot of people off Ganymede. Captain Cooper runs a business yeah. here. Uh, you so know, is a real friend of the military, so. She is. Uh, she heard, is. Yeah. I heard con a contradictory to that, so I'm, I'm, it's all good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cap is a good one. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, look. I, I hope to, you know, I hope to hear from you all. Uh, earlier, we'll but um, we'll let you know by end of the week what what their plan is. Yeah. yeah and you, and you, you look over his dossier. I mean, he's got some schooling. Like he actually went to like lab technician school and then like got certified with like. Um, the uh, med med tech certifications a little more advanced than most people. So, uh, seems like you know, if you're looking for someone to to tell people what's wrong with them and make sure they live, this is the guy. Okay, I like it. All right, and he he gets up and uh, nods. He's not really sure to do. Kind of does kind of the belt of loda kind of like fist to you a little bit. He's not really yeah. sure what you want now. So he's like, whatever. Um, no, he's like he's not. He's not. There's like a naval tradition they're supposed to adopt. They don't really know. <laughs> I'll just I'll reach my hand out to shake his hand. I shake his hand. All right, cool. He he, that's out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty good. I mean. Yeah. He. Hey. He, I mean, if he were on Ganymede, you know, or seen that and saved, helped out a lot of people. I mean, you know, he had a. 
he was throwing a lot of really hard stuff so he know what he's gonna be doing yeah but uh he totally wrong about what happened to me man so i don't know but <laughs> but other than that well, yeah. so no you don't even know what happened to you not yeah, entirely <laughs> yeah i know it's true yeah but man how do you think i just work out a lot but it's okay yeah 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 it's great but you have to do without a blood test like what yeah you yeah expect? like you know <laughs> Hey Doc, how, what's my blood sugar? No idea. That's, that's like going to yeah. someone and be like, "Hey Doc, uh, hey man, you smart, right? Like, what's my blood sugar?" <laughs> yeah. Like, well, what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just eyeball. Yeah. Give me, give me. And that's problem. that's yeah. Like, what? This is Waxa, Yeah. He's like, huh? But uh, yeah, I think he, you know, he's good, and uh, he seemed like he he will, will be working well with the crew, and he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. All right, Waxer. Uh, me and Zinny picked that one. Who would you like to talk to next? Oh, hey, no, it's okay, yeah. Wh whoever you talk to, yeah, Wax, I'm the surprise interviewer, yeah? So I just throw the question, yeah? I'll just be like, I'm Russell, so it's maybe okay. Next time, maybe next time you keep all your clothes on, though. Maybe oh, you yeah. I just, just, that. I just want to I mean, see we're casual. What... We're being casual, but we're not going to yeah. be that ca Not that casual. You know, not not that kind of casual. Not not in the first, you know, first I, round. I just imagine your muscles pouring out when you start pulling your shirt down. You're, 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 you're kind of pulling your shirt around like your muscles pouring out like pancake batter out of a freaking like thing. It's just like, oh, there's nothing about muscles forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too bad muscles. Are <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, Tetsuo. Um, the Tetsuo muscle, yeah. So, um, the, uh, Zenny, you do actually, when you start going through the, the dossier again, you pull the images, you actually recognize, uh, Give me, actually, everybody, give me a current affairs uh, test, Zenny, because you're from the space. I'm from the space! Oh, this space. This space. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, everyone's from space. Uh, yeah. it's 10! 10, okay. Uh, one of the, this, this, this fella, Idris, uh, the one that has the medic and kind of like the combat experience, seems a little familiar. They're from series stations, according to this, so you might have seen them around, but... Want to talk to him, Zenny? Which one was this? I'm sorry. Yeah, Idris. Uh, Idris is the medic. Uh, has the medic and rifle skills. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can talk to him. Yeah, let's call him in next, and we'll get the medics through, and then move on to something else. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try to get uh, Idris in to sit with us now. Okay. <laughs> I sent Zenny a message. Uh, okay. So, yeah, oh! So you, so I see! Like, yeah, it, it takes you a while to place the face, Zenny, but like after, after you, I think uh, as soon as I see like yeah. the person, it's like, oh. Yeah, he walks in after why I called him up, and you recognize him, Zenny. Like, you, you're like, oh. Like, <laughs> Idris, Idris is X Star Helix. You, your, uh, that's actually part of the thing is X Star Helix. So it has like um, kind of SWAT team, you kind know, of like did a combination of like SWAT slash um, uh, first responder type stuff. Be the first one to go mm. in and provide medical assistance. So like field total field uh, medic. They're not, um, but you don't see anything on background of like uh, lab stuff. Like it's all just practical. Um, so Idris is uh, got tan skin. Um, kind of like very, like very, um, almost sculpted. You can tell they've had some work done on their face. Uh, not, not, not very uncommon. Um, and, uh, seems kind of, like, seems, I mean, it, oh, why, okay. you, you know, why, you know what a cop looks like, and this is a cop. <laughs> um, yeah. But, uh, it's a, it, and they're a belter. Uh, and they come in and they, they see you all, they see the three of you sitting down there and kind of looking, and it kind of looks, Side and so, uh, uh, hello, uh, Idris, uh, Kambar, I'm here for the interview for the Sinclair. Have a seat, have a drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem. he's like, oh, I'm good right now. Uh, where, where, where do we begin? Uh, this is it, yeah. And they got kind of just a vest on. They're not wearing like a flight suit, uh, but they have like kind of a vest on the hat. Like those are kind of like a tactical vest, like an OPA, like the OPA splits go on it. Um, you do see on their upper arm like an older OPA tattoo. Um, the kind of tattoo you would see like um, why you you clock this as like a more of like a like a OPA gang tattoo at the time. Your way of putting it, um, 
but it's uh yeah definitely like someone who's been loyal for a while i'm i'm gonna let wyatt and waxer i kind of like zenny doesn't like jump into questions like like she did with the the first person zenny's like really looking over this dossier of All like right. I, I, it feels weird that you're putting down that you're a medic. I didn't, I don't know a lot about you, but it didn't feel like you were like super medic centric, but is like really, really like combing over this dossier and like putting it with what little I know about this person while, while the other two are kind of beginning the talks. All right. I'll start off by asking, uh, tell us about yourself and why you would fit in with our crew. We're looking for a few different <laughs> things, so it's like, well, I mean, I've uh, I looked over at Zenny real quick, uh, worked here on series, did uh, security work for Star Helix up until uh, the changing of the governorship. After that, uh, I served under Captain Deed, uh, directly who served under who was working for Governor Dawes, making sure the station's secure. Um, I was there with the riots, um, I remember um, serving uh, next to a Great officer uh, Josephus Miller. Um, when uh, the water rights broke out here, we made sure that people got home safe with uh, minimal casualties, despite our uh, gear being stolen, misplaced during that time. We managed mm-hmm. to subdue a riot without any with minimal incident, with no casualties, and uh, lack of uh, any kind of uh, riot gear. So it sounds like you're pretty good with the security side of things. What about your medic credentials? What What do you got with that? Oh, uh, oh I'm not I'm not full blown med te- med techs uh, certified. So if you're looking for something like that, but I know how to patch up a wound in the field. Yeah, we had a fella uh, pair of kneecaps in front of us, and uh, we made sure he got home okay. So the way it sounds to me okay. is you'd be better in the field with your rifle beside us more than you would be staying on the ship tending to people that might get hurt i mean i can patch someone up anywhere and i'm like oh yeah hey so, get there. So, hey so can i yeah so uh no that's a good good skill and i kind of like nudge wyatt like yeah okay like maybe not the, <laughs> the medic type uh, yeah uh, a quick question yeah how do you feel about uh you know if we had a crew member let's say we're gonna, not gonna name them and uh, he liked to smoke something in uh, maybe an engineering deck. Maybe he's not allowed to. Yeah, how would you handle that? Yeah, he's not allowed to. You had a, you, well, you know, maybe the cap say you can only do it here, and you got to work with this uh, this crew member. Yeah, I mean, what would you? You have a problem with that? How will you deal with the problem with another crew member? Yeah, something like that. And uh, and I was I was I was you told to, to secure the situation. Oh, you know, or, or, so, or deal with it, yeah, how you deal with the other crew member, not, uh, uh, yeah, not as I, a yeah, if, if I security. Them, if I call them smoking down there, I just take it away from them so they can have it back when they leave. Okay, yeah. I'd be, you know, Cap yeah, says. You, yeah, you definitely, you definitely get to room with McMichaels, yeah? Uh, <laughs> okay. That's one of the crew members? Oh, yeah, 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 he, oh. he, he one of the, one of ours, but, I have uh, okay. a, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, when, when did you stop working for Captain Sh- uh, Shadid? Well, uh, not too long ago. Uh, technically, I'm still working for uh, Captain Shadid. The Captain Shadid is kind of on a, a weird position between being OPA Navy and station, station security. So, but uh, Dawes has encouraged some of us that were interested in enlisting to enlist. And so I, uh, I'm willing to sign up. There has been home, it's good home, but uh, knowing what's going on out there, I'd like to make a difference if I could. And honestly, things have been good here. You know, it's like the state security's been good. Uh, not a lot of incidents. Uh, things are a lot easier now that the uh, Earthers don't run the station. Oh. What do you think about an Earther running this ship? Yeah. Uh, it's like, I know, I, 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 you know I'm well aware of uh, Captain Cooper, um, but uh, everything as upright captain does does the good trick. I'm not, I'm not, you know, willing to put it aside if he's going to get the job done. And uh, from what I understand, kind of looks at the thing, uh, she's done some special work for uh, Governor Dawes. Yeah. Yeah, she has. So I don't question her loyalty. Okay. 
Why this guy? This guy though. This guy like like you're seeing a soldier. Like this, this guy was a yeah. cop, but he he's like a soldier. It's in line yeah. pretty damn quick. It has a purpose. Um, mm -hmm. If we were out somebody or somewhere on a mission, and you were specifically asked to do something from someone offside the ship, let's say Dawes, and the people on this ship, Captain and me and Waxerns, and he didn't agree with it, what would your position be? Captain, captain, that's a question. Captain, the captain at where where we are, but once we get back, it could there could be consequences for it. That I won't be responsible for. So he's saying, like, basically, like, yeah, I'd well, probably go in line with the captain in the field. But we'll get, until face to face with get, Dawes, and then absolutely yeah. on like, Dawes. Like, like Dawes, if we get back on Sirius Station, and Dawes asks me to haul you in. I will haul you in. Yeah, and, and you know, this could be a problem. Mixed answer. Sure. Mixed answer. Yeah, mm -mm. I mean, it's a respectable yeah. answer. Yeah. I'll take, I'll give that. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we we know our ship and our captain, and uh, sometimes we don't do things that uh, maybe fall fall line with our. I yeah. I I, I, I slowly turn to look at Waxer, and I just raise an eyebrow. I said, "Oh, this is one I hey, it's not supposed to talk anymore. You're supposed to talk, so yeah." <laughs> uh. <laughs> kind of the idea of like, just don't tell the people we haven't hired yet that we don't always listen to authority. <laughs> Maybe that's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, I think uh, XO's got another question for you. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I think we're pretty good here. Um. I don't know if you'd fit in with the medic side that we need, but as a soldier on the field, I think we could possibly use you, but I'm going to interview um, you. He's like, hey, you know, there's plenty of ships to sign up for. I'm assuming uh, whichever ones want to ask me up first. Yeah, I don't think you're going to have any problem with that whatsoever. Right. Like, it looks like this is uh, uh, Wyatt, Waxer, uh, Denny. Thank you. Uh, and he kind of takes a step back and he says, um, he takes a step away from you and he turns back around, looks at you wide. He says, the he points to Zen. He says, uh, you got a, you got a, you got a loyal, you got a very loyal belter right there. I'm gonna let you know. Yeah, he looks at Zen. He says, uh, he kind of nods. He walks away. We all, we all like lean over. <laughs> we all lean over and look. Yeah, look. What the hell was that yeah. about? Yeah, he a uh, pro officer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm doing out here? Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, he seemed pretty pretty by the book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't remember a whole lot about him. But uh, hmm. yeah, I um, I I think I I told I thought I told you all this. I uh I worked um well. Oh, so cute. I kind of worked. I didn't quite. I worked alongside Captain Shadid, and sometimes we work together. Sometimes. Hmm. More often than not, though, we didn't. <laughs> um, you trust I him, though? You... See, that's hard to say, because, yeah. I mean, in my opinion, Captain Shadid and, you know, this guy... They weren't doing anything. Well, <sighs> would they fit it? Would he fit into this ship, or would should we just? I he would absolutely right. not. It would absolutely yeah. not. Hundred <laughs> percent not. I, I, he he. So, I mean, he watched Captain Shadi shoot someone right in front of me who wasn't who didn't need to be shot. So and didn't oh, say nothing. Yeah. So oh. that's. I mean, that's a. Yeah, that's a coil thing. And they, yeah. left, they, they, they left me to take care of it. So there's oh. also that. And it wasn't my business to take care of. So. Well, just delete his name from the register. Yeah, yeah. I think that maybe is a good. That might be a good. You know, it might be a good idea. <laughs> I think my uh, best bet so far for a medic will be uh, Marine. Is that how you say oh, it? Oh, yeah, Marine. Marine, yeah. Yeah, Marine yeah, Mosque, yeah. 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 He seemed like a, you know, pretty good guy. Yeah, he knew a lot. Yeah, that one. He, and he, yeah, more of a mech, uh, medic, less of a soldier. That one, then that's good. Yeah, I don't think I, we have any more medics. I put in the notes for Idris, that's a hard no. 
Hard no. Big I mean, fat no. Should I bolt the hard? Should I, should I bolt the hard? Yeah. No. Okay. The whole thing. Bull the whole thing. A definite <laughs> no. You can you can like bullet the no, like okay. double underline no. Yeah, like, thanks, <laughs> thanks for coming. We just like tear his resume. <laughs> That's a really good story. Okay. We should. I think we should. Uh, I think Marie should be top of the list on medic. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll send that information to the cap. We'll let her make the you know final decision, but. Yeah, I'll do a little more digging too, just to make sure that they're not like. Yeah, you can background check if you want to. Oh, I, I when when we pick people, I'm do gonna that. do that yeah. so hard before we say that we're gonna hire them. All right. All right. So who you got next on the list? So we had on the dossier. We had Mikhail Ramos, uh, who was a pilot with navigation. We had uh, Omusa, who was a uh, rifles and tactician. Then we mm-hmm. had Justine Pascal, who's our engineer and. Kind of a ship person. Yeah. Uh, they're damn good. It looks like they're pretty good on a ship. The pilot. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think Pascal, we need. Yeah. 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 I think. Uh, I mean, as as good as it would be to have a tactical person, I'm also hoping we don't need a tactical person. You know. Mm-hmm. But Community. we will definitely. You are in the navy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But we also are going to call our own shots when we're out there yeah. in space. <laughs> Um, and you know a but, good pilot will have I will keep us, uh, yeah you that tactics yeah. does come up in space combat right 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 um to Mikhail and Omusa Omusa yeah yeah for sure but let's do uh, let's do uh, see, let's talk I, to the I'm, pilot I see okay but this just seen person they're good they they're at least they say that they're good with engineering and also gunnery stuff yeah. yeah, we can talk. We'll just talk to them. Well, well let's uh, yeah, interview all three. I mean, I mean, yeah, 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 we're gonna interview all three, but like, which one? Which one we want to do first? No, all at the same time. Yeah, group competitive interview. interview. Yeah, group yeah. interview. That's fucking evil, dude. We'll do one big group interview. Just to make sure everybody. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. We just we'll pick. Put guys. Michael's in charge of that one. Yeah. If you can get along with him, this crew will be just fine. <laughs> Is that, is that is that like the test? Is you just lock him in a room with McMichaels for an hour and see what happens? <laughs> nope. I okay. knew that. I knew the cop wouldn't do well if he was in any situation no. with McMichaels. I thought that was a problem. Yeah, yeah he's, for he's sure. Like, he's 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 like, yeah. All right. I'm a, so we'll you you I don't know why that last name really looks familiar to me, and I think it's just because I had it somewhere else. But I'm like looking Pascal. through my notes, like, is Pascal? No, is that someone that I common know? No, it's, it's a common. Uh, yeah, I mean, you look at the name, and the name's French. Uh, yeah. So you get this kind of like. So Justine comes in, uh, very tall, not quite, uh, not quite as tall as uh, Waxer, but like probably about six three, six four, uh, thin, belter. Uh, physique uh they have like very dark skin like they're of african descent but their skin has that kind of gray a kind of almost a grayish tone um this is someone who hasn't like doesn't really see the need to like um like get exposed to full spectrum lighting on a, on a consistent basis let's say like they don't need to see the sun they're kind of mm-hmm. they're, their skin's kind of grayish like and stuff like that too um at points and uh, they have a large head like the belts do. Um, their their hair is kind of uh, put back in like a like kind of a bun, uh, or kind of side shaved with like a like a top piece going into a bun, um, and heavily tattooed. The grace uh, the the dark uh, kind of belt of tattoos over the gray skin is pretty striking. But like you're pretty sure they're probably tattooed almost head to toe, um, even though they're wearing like a flight suit. Um, and it's a vac suit even. It's not even just a flight suit. It's, like a, it's a full-blown vac suit to come in. Um, then you've seen this type before. You're guessing this is the type of belter that doesn't take a vac suit off. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, they probably have that. Um, and even as, as, as she's walking in, you start picking up some of those more uh, developed belter ticks. Mm-hmm. So you see her, like, uh, kind of fiddling with, like, a steel on the on the, the vac suit. Uh, mm-hmm. Not as a bad thing in space, but it's there. Yeah. Um, comes up and kind of looks at you all and goes, um, uh, is this okay? And kind of points to the chair, like hard belter accent. That's it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, they take a seat. They kind of sit kind of a weird way on the chair. They're, you can kind of see them fidgeting. They're not really used to like it not being. They kind of sit in it like a, um, like a crash couch and it's not working. Mm-hmm. They're kind of uncomfortable in the seat, but like they're kind of they're they're trying to make it work with their physique. Would you be more comfortable standing while you talk to us? I. Uh, okay. uh, it's up to you, boss bang. No, no, no. It's it's up to you. This is this is on you. Then he goes uh, ahead and stands up anyway. All right, kind of stands up and. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, I'll, offer, offer, the, yeah, I'll <laughs> offer them a mm-hmm. offer them a drink. Yeah, they take like, uh, a, they take the glass. They're kind of weirded out, but they're they're trying to drink from the glass. You can tell it's weird for them. Like, well, no, I gave them like an actual like like a bulb of like. Oh, so you give them a bulb of drink. Okay, so they, they yeah. Bulb. Okay, they, they get the yeah. bulb. They get the nipple. No problem. It's yeah. yeah you're, like you're guessing this person. If you gave them a glass of a liquid, they kind of like it would fidget with it a little bit, trying to figure out how to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, picking up on that sort of stuff. Like I'm gonna <laughs> give them everything to make them more comfortable in this. Okay odd situation uh for them um in alaska uh, you spent a lot of time out on ships yeah oh yeah uh born, born uh i got i got born on one on some some rock i don't know which one but like i got born on some place that my family just take me back up in space and i spin around like a baby in space that's all i do for a lot of time hey that's yeah. good that's good we we, we we're looking for of, someone who uh who they, start, they kind of fidget after they sit the chair t- t- for a while but like they're kind of they're yeah uh oh, the chair, so they kind of they start fidgeting under the gravity you can tell like they're yeah they, they're kind of feeling their feet kind of weird see we're we're looking for someone who uh who who knows the ins and outs of a ship much like they know the ins and outs of their own body you know yeah, is that one, is that something that's us uh, yeah, awesome. yeah no problem yeah th- this for the sinclair right yeah. Yeah, she patched yeah. together. I do that. I do that kind of stuff all the time. Patched together, no problem. Put together. Do I still have um, not like the disaster readout of the engine, but like a general yeah, you could, like? Yeah, you bring that out. Put that up. Okay, I'll I'll bring that up and I'll hand it to her and say, uh, uh, how about how about something like this? Yeah, I'll, uh, uh, that that all the that that's all the inner numbers and and all that kind of that that kind of uh, caca. I, I don't. I, I can kind of feel it out, you know. I kind of get in there and I can feel it out. I can, I can get it. You can hear the engine. Hear the, can the I switch to like a, a video feed more sure. so you, than you like actual feed? numbers? Are you beating the shit out of the engine? Uh, <laughs> I'll save that for if they get hired. Here's, here's our most embarrassing <laughs> but more moment. So- <laughs> more so, just like a decor. <laughs> yeah, more so like either a live feed or like a, a, oh, okay. a not a, a still, not catastrophic. A still, a yeah, still. exactly. Okay. So they can actually they can goes. see it as opposed to like you know seeing numbers on yeah, the screen. It's an older image. It's 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 a, more, it's a recent image and it's got the new reactor in it and it kind of sees it goes. Oh that, yeah, that's not a bad job. Got that done on uh, is that is that a Vesta job? I'll just kind of like turn towards the other two with like a yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, no, I can tell because that's how they, that's how those those coils on the Vesta they they run their cables like that. Yeah, we got one of those on our, uh, our little rock hopper growing up. It's okay. It do it do the trick. Can you make it better? But I have to, yeah. If I have to, I don't want to take anything apart if I don't have to. But I'll take it up if you want me to take it apart. You know, if uh, mm-hmm. you, if Boss Bank tell me to take it apart, I'll, put it, I'll take it apart, put it back together. Okay. okay. Uh. It said, uh, and I'll just kind of like, for the sake of it, like pull up the dossier just on my on my thing. It uh-huh. says here you had some experience in, in in gunnery. What what sort of what sort of thing can you talk about with that? Oh yeah, man. We we got a um. Well, some of us use uh, you know, uh rockbuster cannon. We had well, our ship had a rockbuster cannon on it. We didn't go those fancy peat stuff, but we got the rockbuster cannon. So we kind of shoot that at the go put our stuff up in the net and go catch it all and bust up the rocks and come up and gather them all. Not a problem. Okay. You got a big gun, I fire it, no problem. But if you got if you got guided stuff, I know you do. I saw those I saw those torpedo tubes. You guys got guided stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's not a problem. That easy to get work, yeah, no problem. All that fancy okay. stuff that make it so easy. Yeah, no problem. They got little cameras on them. Talk to the machine and do what you tell it, no problem. Uh you were so you still working with the team? I woke I don't <laughs> she's kinda of logical. You know what it's funny about I I it actually recently man, I actually working on a team, but I work with families. That's what I do. I work with my family. Then I work when our family expand. I work when our family contract. I work with different families. Okay. All right. Hey, we a family, yeah. Are you yeah. family? I mean, yeah, we kinda we kinda claim ourselves a family, yeah. Oh right, yeah. Got no problem. If you guys got if you got you know, you tight coils, no problem. Okay. 
All right. Okay. I'd wax her and be like, ask about your McMichael's question again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you have a you crew with a lot of dinner, different, uh, you know, innards, uh, Martians, uh, different types. Yeah. Now, mo- most of the innards and Martians we meet up, man, we just like, we just sell them stuff to them. We sell them, the, we, oh, we, but we usually go through belts of uh, distribution and then they get it up to the innards. We don't really care what the innards do. We just get it to them and get the money. Yeah, because they're not. This script's yeah. been as good as anyone else's. Yeah, you know, this is true. Yeah, because, you know, we got a mixed crew here with Caps of Earth, you know, we got a one crew member, you know, he, uh, he kind of worked out an engineer. He's a little bit tougher, you know, he. He smoke a lot, yeah. Oh, come on. You got it. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you used to living in uh, close quarters, yeah, right? Yeah, man. As long as long as he's smoking, don't cost don't cost the family no problems. All good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you solve problems there, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Oh yeah, man. Anything, we, I, I see. I've been in. We we had a uh, we had some uh, we got breaches. I mean, you shoot that you shoot that big rock buster cannon at, at one of the rocks, man. It go everywhere. Sometimes come back at you, and sometimes you gotta deal with the micro media. Yeah. That's no problem. No problem. You ever work uh, PDC? Yeah, on the ship. No, nah, I never work anything too fancy like that. I'm kind of curious though, but I can do it. No problem. I get that gun working. No problem. Yeah. We... Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, XO. Yeah. All yours. Yeah. You say you you know you work with family. Is your family will be us on the ship or the OPA Navy as a whole? Well, my family, whoever I, I'm with and I'm, I'm civil with, I'm doing my thing with, whatever the, whatever we're trying to get at. My son of my family was actually my family, my parents. And then we had other parents and we had other kids that we uh, lived with and we kind of worked together to make this stuff happen. But then also, uh, that was my family. Uh, but right now, you know, I saw the OPA stuff going on. I saw how they harassed my, my folks. I don't want to do that. So I'll try to find a new family to help me... Uh, Get back. You want to get so back you... to your family? No, no, get back at the innards. Okay, okay. They bust Sorry. up. They, oh. they bust up. We got, you know, I like, I like the, I really like soybeans. Soybeans are good, but they, they go up and bust up all the soybeans on Ganymede. I haven't it. Ah, so yeah, so yeah, okay. No, and then what they do to what they do to Eros, no, no good. So you you think uh, maybe uh, uh, OPA Navy? Uh, what do you think OPA Navy do? Yeah. I think I think we're gonna take care of our own. I think we're gonna treat our own fair. That's what I think they're gonna do. And I think when the Indians come back out here to try to take what they say is theirs, whatever they claim they claim is theirs, we're gonna fight back and actually win. Okay, yeah. You want a war with the Innards at some point? No, I want the Innards to be the Innards and us to be and us, the Belters to be the Belters. We stay we stay on us, they stay on theirs, no problem. I agree with that. I, I yeah. Um, Zinny, you got anything else? Waxer? No, I think uh, this was a. I think this was yeah. a good talk. Yeah. Uh, uh, just single. Good. Yeah, Mike. Oh, hey, so I'll pull cool, my. Well, Mike, I I'm gonna. Uh, guys are done, man. I'm good to go. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Take take some aqua. Yeah. yeah. And like, kind of like, uh, kind of start like as they kind of start walking, like you can kind of tell the awkward walk under the even like the lower spin gravity. Stuff. All right, all right. I'll take a seat again. As I you, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What'd you guys think? You know, I think it belt, he's a belter belter, right. yeah? Yeah. Uh, thi- um, yeah born on a ship. She, yeah. thi- uh, born on a ship, you know, fixing things. This is good, know how to survive. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, maybe uh, what she thinks, uh, you know, what OPA Navy do, do might, or, um, her views against Inez, hey, may maybe conflict. Yeah, I mean, why, I mean, you, they did. They sound pretty sound to me. Why you you pick up that like if they were aware that you did a cooperative mission with like the UN and the MCR back on Ganymede, they probably wouldn't approve that kind of shit. Fuck them. Why would you? Yeah, why would you? Did you have to ask their permission to go down there and do that job type of thing? Yeah, yeah. You might have a more we'll, extreme we'll like, mic yeah. on your hand. No. Oh, oh, OPA. Oh, hi. Let's hire. No, 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 no. Definitely. You do have, no. But they are. They they probably will be lower the navy. Is what you're picking up, and they will fix any kind of problem. It'll be. Yeah. They can they can jerry rig almost anything. I think I think she'd fit great in a lot of ships, but I don't know if she'd fit well here. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, 
Yeah, I think uh, less conflict. Yeah, you know, we all we all mix crew. Fall out now as it is. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Yeah, I think that maybe she too extreme uh, old school OPA, you know. So, so we need maybe it was uh, what was there? Um, Zhang was another engineer. Zhang Chun. Zhang Chun. I think, yeah. think it'd be a good idea to bring that one in or bring him in. Yeah. See how what they have to say. Uh, Zhang is uh yeah. You want to bring in Zhang? Yeah, we'll bring him in. All right. Uh, if you guys are alright that, you want to do that one now, or do you want to go with uh, somebody else? It's good. Good. Let's go. Good, me. Yeah. good to go. Okay. Um, alright, so you call in Bang. Okay. Um, Bang is kind of uh, a little, little leaner, uh, maybe like a like 6 1 belter. Um, and seems to have kind of a, a kind of like a, a pebble skin type situation going on. A lot of kind of like little blemishes all over, but like uh, looks kind of interesting. Um, and uh, you know, kind of comes in, uh, is wearing uh, looks actually like almost dressed up for this a little bit. Like they're not wearing the OPA like full outfit, but like almost like kind of like their version of like a like a, a like what an officer's outfit they might think looks like. Kind of dress shirt, dress pants, um, and comes in and like uh, gives a firm salute. Uh, the kind of stuff you see from the innards, and uh, you saw back in the military, and he was pretty disciplined and kind of like into this whole thing. Have the seat. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. Zeng uh, Chen, Zeng uh, Chen. I'm a, a former. Uh, 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 diagnostic and repairs on Tyco Station. Uh, signed up. Let's go. And got got sent out here to wait assignment. Um, good. Uh, good day to you all. Good day to you too. What uh, what kind of skills you can you uh, offer the Sinclair? Uh, well, as like I said, I do ship diagnostics mostly. Uh, I know how to repair, uh, do initial repairs and stuff like that too. Uh. The core reactors, something like that's not an issue to work with. Drive engines, uh, that's what I was mostly doing on Tyco Station, uh, building and repair, or rebuilding even retrofits. Uh, from my understanding, your ship, the Sinclair, is a retrofit, heavily retrofitted ship, so it'd be right up my alley. Uh, hell of a challenge. I actually uh, got some, uh, I called in a favor to some friends on Tyco to get a nice little read out of your ship. It's, it's, it's interesting, hell of a read. Um, let's see, let me think here. What a good, um, Make sure you got any questions. Um, that's any, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I come up with them after. You can see that. You can see that, like thing, like unlike other builders, is very like. There's almost kind of an earther quality to them, like an inner quality. Like their their hair styled, like slicked. Uh, they're wearing kind of a suit. Like they're like here, like a formal job interview. Um, mm-hmm. why you get that this. This guy's not like a soldier. Uh, he's a technician. So uh, you definitely get that kind of that kind of feel to him. I'll get that feeling. I'll, I'll ask him. Um, so if uh, we were in, in need of an extra hand on a mission, how comfortable would you feel holding a gun compared uh, to? Uh, I mean, sure. I, I got through the I got through the basic marksman uh, need. They, they had to had us go through here. I, I can I can do it. Not a great shot, but I can. You, but you pre- would prefer to be on the ship, fixing things as they need to be. Yeah, or unless you have some sort of system you need me to look at. But you know, uh, uh, you know, from my understanding, I wouldn't be going out. Wouldn't be going out like in like errors, right? We'd be not like a whole. We'd be a whole team, yeah. Okay, we'd yeah, no problem. Yeah, I, I can totally do that. That's our ability. We'd make it always a whole team, yeah. not just one or two people. Hey. Uh, you uh, you're smart enough. Uh, you can uh, make alteration to uh, weapon, firearms, uh, armor, stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Firearms? No, I, I, that's not really my field. Uh, the small kind of mechanics. I mean, I, I could you know disassemble or reassemble, but like I, I don't know enough about firearms to really make one better. I, mean, I understand how they work, and you know. Uh, yeah. How about uh, like hacking? 
yeah? You go to computer oh. stuff, yeah? Yeah, I, I know, I know, I have a pretty good, uh, and he kind of pulls up like the certification he has, and, and yeah, I have a pretty discernible uh, degree of certifications in terms of like knowing about um, uh, the very security protocols of other ships. That's what you're asking about. Uh, yeah, I, th I think so. <laughs> Having to repair uh, faulty airlocks is definitely something I've done a lot of. That's what you're asking. Okay, yeah. Hmm, yeah. And he even has, like, and you guys have seen these before, he even has, like, this generic, like, uh, letter of recommendation from Fred Johnson. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like, the, it's like the generic, like, like almost, you know, it's it's like super generic. Um, it's like the one that you can print off yeah. of the off of the internet. <laughs> well, it's not that bad, but like it, I mean, it's, it's a real letter, but it's it's like it's just kind of like his generic one. Mm -hmm. uh, how uh, how you get along? Um, you ever been on a ship with a uh, real tight quarters, uh, small crew? I mean, how oh, yeah. how you get along with well, the rest of the crew? With, yeah, I mean, working for the Tycoon Corporation, we would have to go out on missions and uh, you know intercept a ship on occasion. It's like a I, I, he's like, I, I did do some work on the people the Naboo, if you're... Okay, yeah, I think I heard of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I worked on the Titanic. Yeah. I may have heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lester's just trying to play cool, you know, yeah, in the yeah. interview. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. Like, oh, okay, he's like, yeah. yeah I worked on the retrieval, <laughs> mostly doing, um, uh, setting up the, uh, I helped design some of the initial uh, grappler pods, the pods that would basically attach to the ship to like grab it. Mm. The breaching pods, yeah. Yep, to okay. get on board. He's like, there's one thing I know how to do is makes it, it's uh, make sure something's airtight. That's not even an issue. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, he kind of, he, he's like, yeah, it's. It, if we're not breathing, we can't work, so. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll pull up the same, um, I'll pull them up side by side, the, like, picture mm -hmm. and also the, like, readout of the yeah. engine. Um, and, and, uh. Just look at the readout of the engine and he's like, this is real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the ship I'm, you guys serve on. Yeah, well, you want to tell us about it, actually. I'd be very your, interested to know what you... Your ship shouldn't you exist that. anymore. It should be a cloud of... A sparse cloud of vapor, according to his log. How the hell did you survive? He's like, he's like, this should have been, like... This is like a... This is like black box type of stuff. This is like the end game. If there is a black box, it'll survive. Like, he's like, yeah, your, your ship should be a... What are you doing? He's like, he's a little freaked out by when he's showing that, that data. I will survive by luck. It sounds like. I'll take it back. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll just <laughs> thank you. <laughs> like yeah, uh, like yeah. I don't. I don't know if I could solve those kind of issues. Uh, like that's like a dissertation right there. Oh uh, yeah. But you understand what it says. We hand you this, and you you understand what it's saying. Yeah, and I don't understand how it's in front of me. My problem. <laughs> it's like I don't understand how it continues to exist in the future. We don't understand how it happened either, but we survived. Um, but yeah. you would be the smartest one to explain it to us, yeah. <laughs> um, he's like, yeah, and he looks at the photo, the image of the thing. He's like, geez, uh, yeah, this needs a lot of cleanup. Um, yeah, I would definitely start trying to get your uh, your other mechanic, your mechanics on their ship, but uh, uh, clean this up a little bit, take a little more. A little more polish, we'll say, in the work. I mean, it looks like it looks like it works fine, but yeah. Would you be up for the challenge of doing that? For sure, yeah. I mean, that's why I'm here, right? That's why we hope you're here. And I'll I'll nudge Waxer again and be like, Michael's question. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, all Our right. Mechanic so. offers you pot. Would you? <laughs> yeah. Ew. <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, maybe you got a co-worker uh, you're working down uh, you know engineering and uh, maybe he don't listen all the time or maybe he uh, you know he do he do a little things that might not go by the book uh, how you deal with this person yeah not by the what are they not doing by the book 
Oh, uh, hey, uh, maybe they drink a little bit of motor oil. Maybe they uh, smoke a little uh, fungus or something. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. Like, no, definitely no intoxication on, on, on the engineering deck. I, I, I would pour that directly to the XO. Okay. Okay. Um, do, 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 do people. People oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 <laughs> yeah okay right you know this is a you know question uh we we ask uh, to find out because um yeah our crew we, we're good crew but uh sometimes uh, it's an unconventional things done but it gets it gets done good yeah you know, okay yeah all yours xo <laughs> how do you feel about flying underneath a captain that's an earther i've worked for fred johnson uh the last eight years I've okay, but his... we all know that Fred Johnson doesn't really count. Uh, well, I mean, there was numerous. I mean, Titan Corporation, the Earth Corporation. I worked with them and many Earthers and even Martians here on there. And, uh, whatever the client was, I uh, worked with them no problem. I have no problem with the innards uh, in terms of their uh, ethnicity, I guess, what we want to call it. But uh, more, of, uh, I do take some issues with some of their policies government bodies uh, we i agree with that 100 percent yeah what no, like, i'm not your, here what's your opinion of this whole opa navy thing what is your well, i mean i was i was intrigued um uh, i mean go out and make a difference i mean like the problem with the opa was that like and he, this guy's like clean like he's got no tattoos or anything like that he's like super clean jade and style hair and everything like that too um he's like they seem so uh disorganized but when but when uh, Director Johnson uh, told us about we heard about the project he was working on with uh, Governor Dawes, it's, I mean it sounded intriguing and uh, yeah, this, this guy Wyatt, you're like, dude, this guy's got a fucking poster of Fred Johnson on his bedroom wall. <laughs> like you're like, you're, it's, you're, 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 and you've met Fred Johnson and you're kind of like, right, you fan boy over someone else. Well, let me let me ask you this question then. If Fred Johnson asked you to do something and the crew of this ship disagreed with it, mm -hmm. what would you do? Yeah. Oh, um, I mean, I guess it depends. Uh, it depends. Uh, I mean, what if he tell you put some spyware on our ship? Yeah. Because uh, he thinks we do something that goes against that. You, you uh, do something like that? Well, Fred Johnson isn't the, from my understanding, isn't the general. He's kind of funding the. Coordinate. Answer my question. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, <shame laughs> <down>. <laughs> uh, yeah. So he's kind of like, um, you can tell he's conflicted, Zenny. That's you pretty okay. quick on him, and yeah. he's like, uh, I... yeah. He he says, I I I'd make sure that the the ship came first. The mission, the mission came first. Got kind of a cop out answer. Okay. Then you, you pick up that he's kind of like lying. I'm not lying, but he's definitely trying to hide his direct answer. Mm hmm. That means that gives me all the information I need. She's typing it down now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anybody else? Uh, we got any other questions? Yeah. I'm now you gotta arm wrestle me. No, I just like kid with him. Hey, just uh, <laughs> damn, hey. you with the last guy. Oh uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I should have wrestled that uh, Star Helix guy. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Zang Zang was like, yeah, no, um, yo, know, I, I get where you're coming from. Um, yeah, okay, uh, I'm, yeah, okay. He's well, like, he kind of says, he's like, he's like, he's like, no, he's like. This is a good question because I, I I think you're right. This this yeah if that if that's if that's a concern of yours uh, yeah maybe I just probably the next one. All right. 
I'm not going to hold you back, buddy. You can, uh, you can yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's Honestly, good. goes a long way with us, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. good luck. Good luck yeah. to you, yeah. But, I mean, you're, but yeah, you're pulling his, like, I mean, you look at this, this guy's certification, his work history. This, this, this is the smartest guy you've talked. Like, in terms of actual, yeah. like, the Justine to you kind of comes off as, like, she'll make shit work. Even in the worst circumstances, she'll figure something out. Where Zeng will, like, get whatever you have to work the best, but you're not so sure if he's as, a, as like, um, adaptive as Justine is. Yeah. That's kind of, it's kind of an interesting kind of dilemma. And Zeng seems a lot more uh, orderly than Justine. Waxer, Justine seems like she'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Like, if you invited her to, like, a, like a, oh, yeah. like a pit, like a wrestling pit fight, she'd probably be go, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Zenny is 100%, like, even throughout that whole conversation, was stuck on, like, uh, just seeing and everything that she was talking about was ringing in, like, a very convincing way to Zenny. Yeah. I believe I feel like I've like I feel she would be a better fit for our ship than Zane. yeah by the way you... I feel like I dealt with deltas like that maybe they have extreme attitudes but you know we could I think our crew changed that yeah the way we do mm -hmm. things and we could help yeah. uh, so I, I don't think that's something we can't overcome yeah and she is a she goes survive man she live in a in uh, that long in a rock copper doing a... yeah 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 so yeah, it... uh, that's before he walks away, so I'll be like, uh, maybe the other one. <laughs> <laughs> so you hear him say it loud on the way out. You guys are taking the other one. I heard you guys also want to interview Mikhail and Omusa. Yes. I think that's the last uh, two. Yeah, the last two. yeah. Which one do you want to bring in? Mikhail's the pilot, uh, oh, and then you got Omusa. I would say Omusa. So I think uh, I think okay, why, yeah. I think you should head that one though. I'm ready for I think it. We would have good questions to ask. Uh, why Amusa walks in? Uh, you you didn't recognize uh, her from the um, uh, the initial like like dot, uh, but when she walks in, you kind of recognize her physique. Uh, she she was like a, a enforcer on a palace station, a criminal. Uh, not Probably. someone you ever busted because they're the kind of person you don't you don't get to bust. You bust their underlings, but Omusa looks like uh, you know has a criminal past. Like you recognize uh, her as like someone that was like busting heads for uh, whatever crime syndicate was operating on Palace. Like, yeah, we're welcome to have a seat. Yeah, and Omusa sits down. She she kind of looks and kind of cold and says, uh, "Are we ready to begin?" Well. Tell us about you. What, what can you bring to this ship? She's got her. She's got the big head. Uh, once again, heavy tattoos. Um, the, or not heavy tattoos, but the ta tattoos she has are bold, like there are big shapes on her. Um, definitely built. Has like a lot more muscle mass than a few of the other built she talked to. And says, uh, ran uh, run security type stuff. Uh, you know, field ops for people, no problem. Uh, know how to move through a station pretty easily, make sure to know how, more importantly, how to get lost in the station. What do you want to see from the OPA Navy? What is your vision of it? <laughs> Honestly, it just uh, seems like a good, good, uh, good chance to see some new action. Our station is getting a little stale. It's an interesting station. Um, Wait, it's, wait, wait! You've been there. I've been there. I've spent time there. All he goes. Oh shit! You you worked for uh, uh, Anasek, right? That I did. Oh man, yeah. We ran we we ran into you guys a few times, man. You guys okay? They do okay job. They do okay job. For the most part, yeah. I have degrees. I mean, you know, never guys never caught me. <laughs> she got the last. It's a good one. I thought that was, it's a good one. Um, how you good with um, two innards being uh, your boss? Uh, you know, Alice Station, one of those stations that, like, you know, it run by the innards. Kind of like the series was. Um, I, you know, you just day by day, gotta do. 
goes through. But uh, if the, the orders come down, I'm more interested right now in kind of the uh, the adventure of it all, I suppose. Hmm. I'm going to just be completely honest with you. Huh? You're pretty hard. You've, you've lived a hard life. You've probably done shit that we don't. We on this ship probably would not agree with. Hey man, it's just like, hey, I, I, you know, no judgment, no judgment. That's cool. But look, think, what I'm saying is, if you want, if you want some badass quail in your corner, you come bring me in, get it done, no problem. No, I don't dis. I completely agree with that fact. But let's. Uh, say- I stand up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. You stand up. Just kind of looks at it as you stand up. How good are you at uh, arm wrestling? <laughs> At last, he's like, I, I ain't bad at it. Okay, okay, and I, I sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> Square up or what? Well, she was saying there's no badass Koyo, and I said, hey, we got one on the crew, yeah? So, kinda, uh, but. <laughs> she kind of looks at you, she goes, she goes she's like, she kind of looks over, wax, she says, bad. this one right here, man, he looks badass. He ain't badass. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's like, she's she, like, she's like, you know, how good are you at, how good are you clean a room yeah you yeah you so you say you you run with some uh old gangs uh long time ago OPA yeah I used to do a little bit of uh you know muscle extortion stuff but uh but uh yeah you you uh you planned uh what kind of things you do for them yeah that make you I do the I do good the kind or of, valuable kind of year, I, I do the kind of things when extortion and muscle don't work Okay, okay. She's like, look, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm good at my job and I enjoy it. You want to bring me on, bring me on, but some other crew going to grab me up sooner later. I don't disagree with that. I think you'll be you'll be picked up yeah. pretty quickly. I'm surprised you're here now. Denny, give me an empathy test. <sighs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> but yeah. I don't like this person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, empathy, you say? Yeah. 14. Yeah, she's probably sadistic. Yeah. Uh, she, uh, she, she seems a little like, like, uh, <sighs> sociopathic might be a, a good way of putting it. Sees this mostly as an opportunity to go out, uh, see interesting places and hurt people. Oh. But <laughs> you will, you do, you will say this, any you need someone to enter a ship and clear it for you, she'd walk out alone. So there's there's kind of this like um I just kind of like <laughs> very subtly as subtly as I can like look to Wyatt and just like <laughs> just like mm. <laughs> I'll take that and I'll uh, just be like all right um we'll uh, we'll let you know what we think we'll do some more interviews. Um, well, later, I'll see you, you around. By the time we get a hold of you again, you'll probably already be on a different ship, already out there. So, hey, oh. stay stay out of trouble. Yeah, really honest. Yeah, you <laughs> just, like, I think you'd rub some people the wrong way on our ship, but I think you're good at what you do, and you'll do really good somewhere. Hey, you know, it's all as long as you got professional respect for me, I'm okay. I got no disrespect headed your way. I think that sounds good. All right, well, I'll go crew up some ones that want to go, but. Uh, into the real action. I gotta. I know your uh, your captain runs uh, chocolates, and uh, I, I've seen her name around on some on some voices back on Palace. She Thank you for your time. Fun stuff. <laughs> All right. When you're ready, to, when you're ready to do some real business, I'll see you around. She kind of walks out. Oh, she, she never gonna wear no uh, slippers the cap gave us. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey, not that Koyo. I, I'm okay. thinking uh, we need to find somebody to fill that position. So what do we have? That uh, Ito maybe? Is that uh, one? There's Ito Isuko, who yeah. does light we- light weapons and like like blades, uh, so, like yeah. knives and like even like batons. Which I mean, could be could be useful. Kind of hiding in the shadows and yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're you're running out of time to do your interviews though. So yeah, uh, there is. I mean, uh, looks- you know if. If this time we come out with only a medic, I, I say that's good. Or, or we come out with well, a pilot too. Yeah. Can you hear me, Kale? Well, I mean, we have pilot. Yeah. We need to talk to that pilot because right. we 
Yeah, let's let's just talk to that person and then let's. let's and I don't think there. Justine would be bad as an engineer for us. I think. No, I don't think, I think so either. I think she's good. I she think she's good. Yeah. So Mikhail comes walking in. You got this kind of like light skinned uh, belter dude, a little shorter for a belter, maybe like five nine, five ten. Um, kind of has like that long, kind of big face. Uh, you can kind of stick out a little bit, kind of weird, kind of weird shaped head type of thing like that. Probably didn't get the right uh, bone growth hormones as a child uh, for belters, but um, has the uh, yeah, has, you know, kind of blonde hair, so like that too. And comes on in. It's got a few tattoos here and there, nothing like hardcore OPA. Um, and uh, comes in and looks down at you guys and uh, hey, uh, this the this the place? This is. Have a seat. Yeah, I was like, all right. Tell so, us a little uh, bit about the interview. What we got, you got a stimulation for me, or what you guys want me to do? <laughs> well, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and see uh, what you think you can offer us? What, what what do you have that we need? Oh well, I'm Mikhail Rainbow Spin. I, I've been running uh, island ships, transports mostly up and down the different, the different beltways here. I've, I've, I've they used to, uh, Mikhail's probably about like in their fifties, a little older, like compared to a lot of the people we've met. Like yeah, I um, so they're probably like like long term belter, like 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 older belter, elder elder belter, if you will. Um, and says, uh, well, I've been running, you know, just doing mostly transports. I've, I've flown a few ice haulers. Uh, oh hell, I even I flew the cant for a few for a few years. Uh, that was all right. Um, and uh, says, uh, well, I got like um, but like you know, I know you guys got like a little bit of a gunship there. Um. But I can do that kind of stuff too. But I know my way around the system. You know, if you want me to tell you how the best way to get around a gravity well, I can tell you. Go a little quicker. But uh, you know, I've I've, I've blown transports down to the surface of Titan before. Not an issue. I can do atmospheric flight, uh, drone work, and that kind of stuff. Whatever you need me to fly, I can fly. Uh, but I, I never really done much combat situation. I, I I have had to like navigate through like a a brief meteor oh. swarm. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh no! The XO has abandoned us! I guess you're hired. No, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> and someone here to tell you no. <laughs> Good. Alright, let me go. Okay, Mikhail, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I definitely. Yeah, I definitely agree. So far, we, we uh, I think, uh, yeah, Justine Pascal. Yeah, that she go work out an engineer and uh, the other one we talked to, that medic, uh, Marid. Yeah. Marid. Marid. Yeah, yeah, Mikhail's kind of yeah. like throwing like, like, yeah, I can pot whatever. Mikhail is older though, I will say that, like, like, uh, but seems kind of interesting to sign up. And one thing that you'll, like, the old is not bad. Yeah. 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 Experience, oh, wow. And like, yeah, I, I've done the run. I've gone out to Uranus before. So they've done like big runs, like really, really big runs, earth, back, forth, all that kind of stuff. So they kind of like list off their like criteria of stuff they've done. Oh, yeah. And it's pretty impressive. Have you, have you ever had to do any sort of, um, any sort of maneuvers or anything like that? Yeah. Like, or I is it mostly just transport? A, we hit a micromedia swarm once that was pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And like occasionally, uh, I've done a few times I have to go through a debris field. Um, something went wrong. So it happens. Okay. But oh, I never, I, I never had to fly something that was shooting back. That's Draskin. Oh. Uh, okay. Trying to line up a real gun shot. But I saw that ship you had out there. That's kind of a cool one. I've never flown one like that. I don't think there's, I don't think there's another ship like that in the whole system either. Oh. Definitely. Yeah. No. No. That's a, that's a special one. And uh, you know, maybe if it goes, the interview goes better, we take you on. You could take a look. But. Uh, yeah, we've been shot at on that ship for sure. Oh, that, that's part of the gig. But hey, you know, I'd, I'd rather kind of put a. You know, I, I the number of times we've been, I've been stopped at a pullover or be aborted by the end. You know, it's, it's too many, and so I'm kind of like, yeah, you know, make make it easier for the the, the guy that has my whoever had my who has my job now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How you uh? How you feel about a uh, a uh, and end up being your captain? Not before. Certainly can't. They're going to a few other ships too. Not a problem. Whoever the captain is, the captain. That's all I gotta say. But you know, okay. my goal is to get us from point A to point B safe. That's it. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm still around. Now what's? Yeah. What's the fastest you fly before? Yeah. Oh, what's man, the most extreme? 
I mean, I, I've been on, I've had to push a few before, uh, yeah, the way of a few things here, uh, make up time. Uh, I had a cap once ask me to go hit G's for uh, a little bit of time. Uh, that one hurt, Oof. but we got through it. Yeah, a few Oof. people had some, uh, had, had some uh, dislocated arms, but that was about it. I, they, you know, yeah. no matter how straight I fly, that's how it's going to be. Uh, how long you uh, you fly for a crew? Yeah, you have a long term cruise ship you used to fly for. Yeah, I, I've done. No I mean, the longest contract I ever had was eight years. That's not bad. Flying, you know, flying a, a heavy freighter. Uh, yeah, and yeah, stop. Why? Yeah. I mean, next contract came up. You know, contract expired. Yeah. They were the ship was in for repairs, and so I didn't have time to wait. You know, six months for it to get fixed up. So I got another job. Yeah. That's wow. how it is, you know. I don't care what I fly mm -hmm. as long as I'm flying, you know. But honestly, this is actually the longest I've been on Sirius Station. Uh, you know, between you and me, retirement sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't wait to get back out, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And uh, that, that Sinclair has got a sweet little, you know, it's, it's kind, of a, kind of a sexy shape. <laughs> He's like, that drive cone's got an interesting shape to it. I'm kind of curious to see how it handles. Honestly, I was kind of trying to try, try her out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll take you on board. Definitely uh, see, see how you, you know, check it out when the XO come back and uh, talk to the cap. But yeah, maybe have you fly a little uh, test run. Yeah, no problem. Do that. Sure, no problem. Yeah, you guys want? You guys got something you want me to do out there? I'll do it. No problem. Get working. No problem. You uh, got any other questions, Zenny? You want to ask uh, Ramos? Nothing off the top of my head. It seems, yeah, uh, it seems, it seems pretty good. Yeah, uh, we'll, uh, we'll 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 definitely let you know uh, uh, by the end of the week, uh, one way or the other. Uh, we're just talking to lots of people right now, so. Okay. Uh, but yeah. That sounds good. No, I appreciate that. No, I, I, I appreciate it. Um, well, look, I'll, I'll be around the station. Um, if you were looking for me, I'll probably be. Well, not wherever, but yeah, I'd love to see your ship. That'd be great too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, okay. Yeah, okay. thank, you, thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, not uh, not bad pilot, you know. Got a lot of experience. Flown a lot, flown fast. Long contract, yeah. Didn't seem to, uh, you know, have any uh, too many problems. Yeah, attitude. At least not, okay. a, not yeah, not not that we. Uh, I mean, they also no, live yeah, a long yeah. time, so like we don't know, you know. Yeah, maybe maybe that test run is. You know, something come out. <laughs> yeah. uh, true, could be one of those situations. Yeah, but overall, you know. Yeah. Um, I want to with with that all taken care of. Um, I want to do some more in depth digging on uh, Marie, Justine, and then this pilot that we just talked to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so give me uh do you want to talk to people or do you want to like try to look them up the records? oh no i don't want to talk to anyone i want to <laughs> okay. I wanna... so this is gonna be an intelligence research test um okay. which, which one are you doing first uh let's do justine first because okay, they're the most interesting to me mm -hmm. okay. you said this was a what a research uh this is research yeah so intelligence research she, she might be uh, one of them fringes um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, ba, 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 ba. That's eleven, but I'm going to yeah. <laughs> right. Um, let's ow ow, buddy. Um, let's go ahead and burn. Uh, okay. Some. What number do you want? I want, I want to get fifteen. Okay, you burn it to get fifteen. Um, you go, you go look up pa uh, Justine Pascal. Justine Pascal doesn't like pop up in a lot of records. I had a uh, feeling. I had a very. Get, you mostly get <laughs> records on feeling. like the ship she mentioned she was she was born on, and like it kind of be it, it, it's a rock hopper. I mean, it's a crap ship. But as far as she goes, I mean, she's undocumented belter like. Wasn't born, wasn't really born on a station, didn't really stay on a station, didn't get around two places. You do get some glimpses of her here and there, but like it's nothing 
Uh, no, but you don't see any criminal record in that too. Uh, you do see where the ship was written up a few times by the innards, but like, I mean, what ship yeah. hasn't been written up by it, you know? I'm mostly looking for um, obvious signs that they don't want to be traced. Mm-hmm. Like if they've hidden That's, things. No. Uh, yeah, you're not picking up anything like that. And if, okay. and if they don't want to be found, then they've done a really good job kind of like making it kind of yeah. weird. Yeah. I definitely feel uh, similarities with uh, Pascal, yeah, and Waxer, oh. yeah. I sort of Axel, understand. you made uh, it! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. We hired everybody. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, we now have that a works. crew of 25. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got them back. All right, cool. Yeah, we were, we were talking to Pilot. Pilot wasn't bad, and now uh, Zenny, she's doing a background check on uh, Pascal. Pretty much right. everyone. Pascal. Right, so you guys did like the... Yeah, all, all the type, uh, flown a long time, uh, had an eight-year contract, going, uh, t- the fastest to go on is 10 Gs. Uh, nice, uh, and then nice personality, yeah? Didn't seem uh, too much one way, another way. Um, Hasn't really been just, in a firefight, but has done a lot of, yeah. some pretty, pretty good uh, maneuverability things, so. I think it'd be nice yeah. not to ever have to get in a firefight so that'd be all right yeah and, and it says i uh, always just trying to you know pilot the job well, hey point a to point b yeah safe i like it yeah so i'm hearing i'm hearing uh mikhail's a hire yeah what about justine mm-hmm. justine yeah. i say yeah mm-hmm. okay higher um, things a no then you don't need him oh yeah, yeah. He, what he about, okay, okay but not a he's okay but what about marid I think oh, he, yeah. medic? he was a that was the medic biologist. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that was the, the actual medic. <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah. And okay, so that gives you a pre- that gives you three more crew you're adding on uh, to your current uh, seven. So that puts you to ten crew, which is a pretty good number. It puts you above what like standard operating crew is, mm-hmm. but it puts you below like where you would be, uh, you know, nuts to butts inside the rooms and everything like that you'd have like. You guys, because one of the problems with the, the place is that unless you're going to tell people to start sleeping in the brig, you're going to be out of room for like a like, as, as like, yeah, you're going to run out of room for a double crew, right? With this number, we're good, yeah. You guys have a full operating crew. I mean, you have two people on you basically have two people off duty at any one time if you want. I like it, yeah. The, the, the ship needs two people to operate minimum, honestly, but then it could the optimal number is eight. You could have like a Partial people, kind of people on like call, basically you have two people sleeping at any time. Yeah. So kind of rotations. Be good for the oh, pilot. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Might have the final time. So Mikhail, uh, Mikhail, Marid, and Justine have are joining the crew. Okay, they'll get all like on board and everything. Um, so you guys got you guys get down the afternoon of of interviews and hiring procedures. Uh, make some executive decisions here. What about, uh, do you have anything you want to follow up on? Uh, Denny, you definitely had Crystal uh, buzzing you about, like, some information about, uh, you guys are asking about Pope. Uh, you have some information oh, yeah. you're asking about. I think the other follow-up was about uh, Waxer's condition somewhat. Um, you guys know where Jackrabbit is. Uh, she's out working with the Naboo stuff, uh, oh, yeah. running for the OPA Navy. Uh, your brother, um, Inaros, uh has... Uh, faction has gone much as dark. Um, it's unclear where they even are. Yeah. Um, and then, but everyone's kind of had eyes on the the ring moving through the uh, system. And it's at its very steady, completely consistent pace, but it's going somewhere. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'll definitely check back in. I'll stop by and check back in with Crystal. Um, so that we don't have to like just yeah, message Crystal, each other. Crystal kind of says like, like whatever we're gonna talk about, we're gonna have to talk about in private. Like in yeah, person, yeah, yeah. not on. Okay. Um, did yeah. you want to meet back at the apartment? Do you want to meet somewhere else? What do you want? Do you uh, want to bring, bring anyone with you? I. Um. No, I'll go by myself. Oh. Um, because there's something else I want to also take care of. By myself. Okay. Um, and yeah, I just meet at the apartment because I know that that's 
a fairly secure... It has been in the past, at least. <laughs> a fairly secure place. Okay. Or, or at least. Um, you, you make it back to your apartment, a no problem. And there you see uh, crystals hanging out. Um, and... Uh, like, yeah, oh, I'm glad to have you back. Uh, how's the... I says, how's the... How's naval life? So weird to say. <laughs> Boring. Yeah, a lot of gopher so jobs, far. I'm sure, at this point, but I'm, I'm sure it'll, it'll pick up. Uh, I heard your I heard your friends Waxer and White has some excitement on Ganymede, but I'm not supposed to talk. No one, none of us are supposed to be talking about it. Gonna last. Yeah. Um, well, look, I, I I was looking into your guy Pope. Uh, I tried to look more into your guy Waxor. Uh, the Waxer stuff, and I can't do anything for you. You guys need people. You need someone. You need an inside person on Mars. Uh, that's that's the best I could I can tell you. Okay. But uh, yeah. Uh, the Pope thing. So I'm trying to look through some of his financial records to see what he's doing. Um, well, we found out that he commissioned this this large, uh, brand new kind of ship, um, uh, and uh, he's honestly what based on what we're seeing, he's just he's a little fearful uh, with Aaron Wright. And uh, Jules Pierre Mao and all these guys being outed, uh, Pope. There's definitely a movement right now on Earth against these kind of like big, huge conglomerate, um, kind of excessively rich. Well, Pope barely makes that cut, but he's been uh, him kind of coming back, being alive alone. People think you know, come back from the dead or whatever it is. As far as what he's doing, I'm not sure. Um, I looked at some of the payroll stuff. He's moved around. Money's worked worked around. It's something with this. He's re resurrected his cryogenics program. That's the best I can tell you. Um, what we what was figured out was that he abandoned the cryogenics product uh, production when he suspected Mal Quick of doing what, what they were doing, protogen and the proto molecule. He was trying to figure out. He put all his resources into figuring out what they were doing and abandoned the cryogenics program. But now it seems like it's back on. But the but the thing that's weirding me out, you know, is all out is that we can't figure out like, is he working for someone or is he just like privately funding something? What's he got going on? And then what's the purpose of this giant research ship if he's not like, what the hell is he researching? Or is he, he has to take it somewhere to research something. He's not just sitting in, in outside the elliptical out space just you know get gandering at something. He's got to be researching something. What that tells me. Is that whatever he's researching is on that ship? Hmm. He sure as hell doesn't want other people looking at it. Uh, your buddy Butenko. I mean, he's at Pope's mercy at that ship. Of course he is. Yeah. So, yeah, that's about the best I could figure it out. Um, but this, uh, you do, I, I do kind of, I, I do have have somewhat of a, we'll say, expected crew list, be the best way I can put it. Because uh, if you look at the payrolls, the numbers are kind of lined up here and there. And I could give you uh, some a list of people that are, that I think might be on his ship. I don't know if they are or not. But might be working on there. So you might be able to follow up them or their families or something like that too, but you're not gonna like doing it. Why? Most of them live on Earth or Mars. Oh. I mean you got a few on Luna, but like it's not not a lot of them could afford to live there, so yeah. Uh might be a bit of a problem. Uh, take wait, you, so uh, wait, wait, wait. So, uh, so a uh, a fancy Earther hmm. who was dead is not dead any longer. Well, he was never. Was, there was no body ever seen. It. Everyone just assumed he blew up with the ship. Was dead. Yeah. Has a giant research ship, hmm. and is potentially has on his crew. Earthers and Martians. 
I mean, Together? a lot of you guys... Yeah, I mean, they'll go work private contracts. I mean, no problem. We're not talking like government agents. We're talking like people that went to university or whatever. Um, you know, the best of the best, the best of the brightest. I mean, to get those kind of people to work together, though, too, yeah, he must have offered them something fancy. Must be something kind of cool. Hmm. I mean, we've, there's been Earth and Martian joint projects. I mean, uh, well, right, but you look at, I mean, I mean, you look, I just point generally at, like, her, to, like, monitors and everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you look at what go, what's going on right now. I mean, they, 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 I, I would be shocked if they wanted to willingly work together right now. Yeah, but see, that's the thing, though. You're, you're, you're thinking too much. Belter, you got to think, you got to understand, there's a lot of people inside Earth and Mars. There's a lot of, like, subsects. There's 30 billion people on Earth, for God's sake. That's more than all the people on Mars and all the people in the belt. There's a lot of going on there. Very diverse. And not all of them are wearing blue. Not all of them are wearing UN hats and, and T-shirts and uniforms, and not all the Martians. Most of the Martians are wearing the uniform, but not all of them are wearing the uniform. Not that makes sense, but like, and, and some of them might be disillusioned, especially after see what happened on Ganymede. Hope comes in and snatches them right up. Gets them on whatever the hell he's working on. But what it is, I could, I wouldn't know. And as far as the Earth government. Earth and Mars, they don't give a sh they don't care. He's not doing anything bad. They're more concerned with trying to clean up, trying to figure out how Jules Pierre Mao and uh, Aaron Wright worked together for so many years. Hmm. They're more concerned with it that Mao built a blue giant that ripped Martian Marines apart. Oh, small fish to that. He's, he's nothing. Some schmuck that wants to freeze himself and send himself out to to, the, to another sun. They're like, fuck it, let him. <laughs> I mean, if she puts it like that, you're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you wrong? No. Are you wrong? Did, you, did you build a monster that ripped Marines' heads off? No. <laughs> Do you want to freeze yourself and go into the sun? Yes. Okay. <laughs> These are equal things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pope has chosen his lifestyle and is to be a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> and the people of Earth have accepted it. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, if I could just get those listed names at least. Yeah, no problem. And she gives you a list, we... and it's, it's a, a list of about, like, um, 20 names. She's like, now I want to tell you, I don't know if everyone on here is working for Pope. It's just that the things kind of looked like they worked out. Okay. Um, a few of them, and she kind of points to some, a few of them are on Luna. There's two on Luna. Um, looks like they have family houses there, or, you know, they might have vacation out there. Uh, the Martian ones, but yeah, going going down the, the full-blown well of uh, that 1G. Then, like, if you're going to try that, like, go through the, you know, make sure you have procedures. Take all those drugs the doctors tell you to take. Hey, did you guys hire a new medic? How close are you keeping tabs on us? <laughs> I mean, you guys are at the loudspeaker. I asked, I called up and asked if you were there, and they said you were there with a few people, and I was like, oh, not too close. <laughs> it's but, fine. Uh, yeah, 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 we got a couple. Hey, we got a couple hey, look, people. It, Waxer's not exactly keeping a secret. He got stabbed. <laughs> Waxer doesn't keep anything secret. I'm understanding this now. <laughs> He's a little. I mean, I mean, I know you're a friend, but you're vulgar about it. <laughs> well, I mean, if you got stabs, you can be as vulgar as you want to be about it. Let's be real. There's, there's got to be a statute of limitations on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can walk up to Waxer uh, and you can tell him that. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, um, but yeah, um, no, yeah, I mean, you're, you know, if you if you start, if you got a medic on board, they'll know how to dose you up. Yeah. Um, break when you down. It, it, it's a rough it's a rough patch i've gone back once or twice since i've come out here and it's it's not I, i'll say this the first two days for me were, were bad uh for you it's going to be like the first six weeks yeah but i don't have to um on the topic of keeping tabs of people um have you kept tab on my parents no, I, I, not, not, not too much. Uh, 
I only know what you really told me about them. Uh, as far as what they're up to, I mean, their old their old OPA, pretty radical stuff. Um, Do you know if they're still on the station or? Oh no, they're not on series anymore. I think they they bolted out. Uh, uh, years, you know, years. I thought they bolted out a few years back when Earth was or uh, Star Helix was cracking down. Um, they'd probably be welcome back now, but I know honestly, based on everything you told me, I'd love to know what they think about the OPA Navy. <laughs> Your thing. Yeah. Um, but if you, you want me to find them, I can find them. I can try. Uh, but I haven't really looked too much into your past. Today. I was trying to look for your brother. You know, that, I know he meant he means a lot to you. Uh, Naros is, I mean, he's running dark as dark as possible. Right. I got a feeling he's on a ship somewhere just floating out in the middle of no, not even in the elliptical. He's just spinning someplace, waiting all this out to see what happens. Yeah, I hope so. Um... No, you don't have to. You don't have to do any digging on. As if they were on the station, I just wanted to but stop look, by. But got this. I mean, you know, uh, the captain and uh, on this. I know she's got got a she's got in for Pope. I know she could convince uh, Dawes to let her take you guys take the Sinclair out for you know a month or something like that. He might be able to go find some of these. Find out what the hell yeah. this guy's up to. Trust me, I want to know what he's up to. Uh, yeah, you're not the only one. They just, they can't just be out there freezing people. I mean, they were doing that on Herculina, and they were doing that where the hell all they wanted to. I don't think the Martians or the men are gonna really care about that. Gotta be so he's gonna be working on something that he doesn't want them to. See. Yeah. Or he doesn't want everyone to. See. Yeah. Well. That's the best I got right now. If you give me some more, if you want to look at some more details, stuff like that too. And I, I, I gave you kind of a list of the people and they, you can see kind of what they're about here. Um, but you know what I could do is, guys, what maybe um, other story for going down to, to Earth? Help you with that. It seemed like, you know, an OPA Navy ship has a valid reason for going to Earth. You know what? Yeah. I got to tell you. So there, there is this, there is this, like, I, and I, I, one of the things that kind of bugs me about some of the innards, a few of them just kind of view the belters as like, they're just the other them. They kind of, they, they kind of advance. They, they, they say they're telling your story, but they're just kind of exploiting the belt. Um, she pulls up this, um, uh, this book, um, kind of like weird, or the, the, this book you've seen around, um, that's like, uh, this kind of exploitative, like, exploration of the, um, of Belters. Um, it's called, like, Among, Among the Belters, and it's this kind of anthropology book. You remember, it's like kind of, a, like, I don't want to say pseudo, but like, it was a very popular book. And a bunch of people on Earth and Mars read it. Um, it was a popular bestseller type thing. It's kind of a, it's kind of a research, um, but it goes through and it's this this like uh, this like re this Earth anthropologist researcher doing cultural analysis of the Belters while in the in the field. And when they say in the field, they mean like they're hanging out in Tycho Station in a nice room. They're hanging out in Sirius Station in a nice room. Mm. They're going through high end transport. They're going to the tourist own. traps. It. it was pretty touristy. Belt. Yeah, um, <laughs> it, it didn't come off as like. You know, if, if if they talk to someone like just they never they didn't go and talk to people like Justine, mm -hmm. uh, for example. And so it's like, well, this this one's got a uh, pretty big um, uh, following, it's got money to follow up for a new publication, and been craving an in with the study of the OPA Navy. He wants to know more about like what is it? The, oh my God, the Belters have a military. Like, how can I write that up and sensationalize it and get the innards to read it, right? Well, she's offered a pretty sizable sum to someone to come pick her up on Earth. Hmm. And she wants to... St Here's the thing. She really wants an, in a, uh, a mixed 
dip. And you're how incredibly one, specific, right? She wants to. I think she, what she wants to. She wants to know what provokes an Earther to join up with the OPA Navy. Let alone, and I might add, uh, your Captain Cooper. She knows about about Myrtle. She knows about your XO. And she's intrigued. She would jump at this chance. So what I'm saying is. Wait, did you want me to reach out to her about this? No, no, no. Have you been talking to her about this? No, she's been been talking to one of my many dummy accounts. She's like, you know, Crystal's all these dummy accounts she talks through. I was just kind of poking and prodding her, but she's really intrigued and uh, was asking around about specifics. That was one of the specifics she was asking about. And so bookmarked it and uh, made sure to. But no, I'm not leaking any information about any of this, too. Hmm. It's just weird. No, I and I completely agree. She's a very weird. Mm-hmm. But her name's uh, Esther. Uh, Esther Harper. So anyways, look, I'm just saying it's a way to make a, it's a it's a way to make a quick buck. Uh, it's a way to get you guys to Earth uh, and make sure. But she's going to going to want to study you guys for a little bit. She's gonna be very disappointing. None of us are gonna want. I mean, okay, well, okay. She's not gonna be disappointed when she talks to Waxer, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, you know, he'll he'll have a story about something. It'll involve taking a shirt off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that was her book, uh, Among the Belters. Um, and uh, but I will say this though. He, she's associated with the university. Those the Earth universities, they got access to some serious databases, stuff you can't really get access to out here. Um, might be trying to get a little bit of information more on your boy Waxer. This might be the way too. So I'm just saying, there's a lot of ends on her. There's, she's got a lot of resources. A lot you could you could utilize. Yeah. Um, Listen, we can you. I get what you're saying. We can use her as much as she is absolutely going to use all of us. Like. Yeah, and she like pulls up photos of like Esther and like it's like Esther like wearing like like wearing belter clothing with like mock kind of belter tattoos on her face to blend oh, in like yeah. walking through and like her like you know uh, sitting with like a bull with the children and shit. I mean, <laughs> it's like uh, it's like fucking like like sh- like strange <laughs> shit. Yeah, you're kind of like oh yeah. my god, this is like almost ex- this is exploitative. But at the same time, it's kind of <laughs> like it's at the same time. Show her the real belt of shit is what I'm going to. Yeah. Drink this motor oil. You said you're yeah. one of us, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know after school special. I said drink it. <laughs> you say you want to live among the belters. Well, here yeah, you go. That is how we live. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, so she's in, she's like you know here's. You, you do your time with her, and when you go back to drop her off after you're done, go down there and talk to your, uh, talk to these uh, contacts. See if any will follow the Pope. Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll definitely run this by. Here's the thing, too. A lot of <laughs> Earthers read this Esther Harper. Yeah. If the Earth, Earthers or the Martians angle the Sinclair, knowing that that Esther Harper documented the Sinclair, ain't gonna get the government's a lot of empathy. But what I'm saying is, it gives you a little bit of political protection too. You may have to. Uh, it does feel a little performative, but I'm just saying it would it would it would get you guys some clout and uh, would know about. Notoriety for the Sinclair. Well, we better put on a good show then, huh? Yeah, you bet. Look, you want me to reach out to her and, and, and set the whole thing up? It's not a problem. Uh, let me talk to you. Um, yeah, let me so. talk to the others first. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just because they have a little bit more to lose if, um, you know. And like, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll message you. You also know how much like money that like like innards make off books and everything you've heard about this kind of stuff. Yeah. And like Esther got made a lot of money off this last book, which means she has a lot of money for this next book. 
and yeah. she's willing to pay to be there. Yeah. So it's kind of mostly like, I want to get like Myrtle's take on it, uh, you know, because like I'll, I, okay. this person wants to really talk about like I will, I will give you Myrtle's take when you when you want to interact with Myrtle. Let me know, and I'll be happy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do my best. I will do my best, uh, Myrtle. Um, okay, <laughs> so you go back and you meet with the rest of the crew, kind of around the ships, yeah. checking out what people are what they're doing on it, and so I got to. Go ahead and pitch the idea to Waxer and uh, Myrtle. Yeah, and, uh, pitch it to, yeah, to Everett. Right. Okay. Uh, all Myrtle kind of scratches this crew. Her head. Yeah, Myrtle kind of scratches her head and is like, I mean, she's like, I get that it's like, I'm really not trying to like, like, like look at Donna's voice. I get that like, it's, it's kind of exploited there. I remember reading those, I know what those books do, but at the same time, it gets people more aware of the belters and what they're going through. Um, you know, that picture of the, of her with the belter kids and seeing, other little bodies were developing without bone drugs. I mean, it got people to send money and, and donate and to help them out. So I'm not above that, but I'm also not a belter, so I can't really say. But I, I mean, the money's a lot of money. I mean, she really just wants to talk. She wants to talk to you mostly. I say so... we get, get her out here. But I mean, one of the things about that too is that like that kind of research would look good. Uh, for research would be handy. It can help us learn how to like better run kind of crews, but the cultural mm -hmm. elements we're not really aware of. Else, I mean, you know, it's a nice outside help. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm uh, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. I think we need to we need to make sure we set some ground rules though for the, like the the crew as a whole. But then mm -hmm. like Zenny's one hundred percent looking at Waxer about maybe some things we don't talk about. Um, like you know, experiments been done on people, or you know, maybe an entire she engine asking? falling out. <laughs> what? Why well, would she ask you? Why would she ask you, Waxer? <laughs> or maybe she'd be like, "Tell me about uh, something about yourself." Yeah, no, but okay. What would you, yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you tell her about? What would you? You have so many things to pick, Waxer. You don't have to go straight. Oh, I was in a gulag and I yeah. lost all my memories. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you can be like, ah, oh, I did an arm wrestle once, and I did it really good. I like to do those things. You know, something else. Like, you okay, can make something okay. up if you want to. <laughs> okay, okay. And I like the, you know, like, Waxer's, like, taking the coaching in, you know? Like, okay, yeah. yeah okay, All yeah, I'm yeah, saying Wax, is, uh, it, the, 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 people like this will take any little the, bit of thing yeah. that you say, and they're going to turn it into something that it's not. Uh, you know? And we already don't know what your thing is, so. Yeah, yeah. Myrtle kind of okay. shows the Myrtle kind of pulls up. Says, I looked her up and like he's asking this question like, "What is the soul of a navy that has no nation?" I mean, that's a weird question. I like, I guess the, mm -hmm. almost a, I, I I feel like it's a fair question. Oh, so, hmm. you know, I mean, I guess we you know if you ask what the, I mean, it is the MCR Navy that is a government body, but like OPA is still kind of a, I mean, Dawes and Dawes and uh, Johnson only run a very small portion, only two stations out of how many? I mean, other governors have signed up. They seem okay with it. I mean, but that's a fair question. And the money ain't bad. I mean, we right now we're we're on uh, Dawes's we're on Dawes's teat, but it'd be nice to have some of our own funds to in case we need to do something outside of the norm by the way did you guys ask that question during the interviews about outside the norm mm -hmm. well, well did, yeah yeah i'm not 100 it's been well, actually i mean they kind of did yeah they okay. did they did trust me they did this uh the dawes, <laughs> and, uh, dawes and johnson i think they have a eating visions a lot of overlap but there's, oh, yeah. there's some different that, that venn diagrams got a little there's some thin edges to that edge of that diagram <laughs> down there somewhere Ah, okay. Hmm. Well, I say we pick her up, and uh, Captain's like, I, I think picking her up, and this is an opportunity, and we get to spread the word. I mean, how many? How many? I think according to the last like uh, graphics, her book was read by over five billion people on Earth. It's a lot. Yeah. I say Something. we do it. I vote on the captain's side. Yeah. And we'll pull that Cap course said. out, and I'll, I'll put it in the thing, and it'll give us the time, and let's go back down the well a little bit and 
pick this scowl up and be a good test for Mikhail on uh, flying for a little while too. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's oh yeah. <laughs> and she's like, which one is Mikhail? The flying one. <laughs> the flying one. Okay, yes. oh, that'll be nice. Fly. Yeah, it'll, 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 it'll do wonders on my back. I have to sit in that chair all day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm making. I'm gonna make sure that I share with with all of these people too, like the list of names and like where. Oh, yeah, 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 all the stuff about Pope, since that's like the main reason Myr- we'd be going. Myrtle to Myrtle is Myrtle is very happy about this. Excellent, and actually very happy about this plan that Crystal has concocted, though she feels a little manipulated. By well, and and and, and so <laughs> I'm guessing Crystal wants to sell seven billion books. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I think there's a or how many people read it, so it's kind of an interesting kind of competition. You understand it's Crystal that Crystal yeah. has definitely has a, an interest in it. Okay. You guys are the the spear for her. All right. Well, in that case, I think this is a good place to kind of end the the game that we're going to go set up with Esther. We'll, and we will have one <laughs> Esther Harper on our show next week, played by Emily Friedman. So we were. Well, look that. how yeah. organically you did that. Was it Hell or, yeah. Was it organic or did I totally awesome. shoot the fuck out of that by playing your captain? <laughs> well, uh, um, some things you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta do. You gotta kind of force a narrative once in a yeah. while. Yeah. Um, but you did, I did let you guys pick your. I mean, crew. it wasn't That's it true. wasn't yes. forced because I mean I'm sure that Donna would have done it anyway. I think she would. I think Cap would have done it anyways. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, tonight oh, yeah. we have our giveaway uh, for the. Um, VIP package to OrcaCon, or the, the pass. Uh, please type in the word OrcaCon into the chat and you'll be entered to win that. Uh, we'd love to see you there. Uh, Donald would love to see you there for next year. Uh, it's a great little package. You get all kinds of cool stuff in it. Uh, we are at Barracks Precipice, uh, the Expanse roleplay game. We're on Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here on twitch.tv. So that's only play uh, You can check us out on our podcast. You can go ahead and check us out on YouTube. I try to get the episodes pretty quick. Uh, follow us everywhere at uh, Abrax uh, Precipice. Um, we got a lot of stuff coming up I can't talk about yet, but I'm very excited for next week's episode with Emily. Um, super and doing a lot of cool studies on tabletop role-playing game community. Um, and, uh, am I missing something? Anyway, I gotta do the giveaway The winner? Stuff. Did you do, do, the do the winner? winner. Yeah, the giveaway, I will do yeah. the winner. There will be a okay. winner. Go, let me go and find the winner. All right. I was like, oh yeah, giveaway. Uh, alright, real quick. So, go ahead and roll it. And our winner tonight is... Akapunk, Akapunk, congratulations, hey, Akapunk. Nice. You got the VIP pass to Oricon. I will uh, hey. get information from Donna about uh, getting that package or that, that pass to you and, and making sure you're on the list. It's like, a great con, super inclusive. Uh, uh, Donna does a lot, of, a lot of good work for the community, supports it thoroughly. Um, but in that case, please go ahead and follow us, uh, support us on Patreon. Love it all, and we look forward to seeing you guys next week. All right. Bye. Goodbye, and we will be right out. Bye.